coming to you live from Stewart, Florida, the greatest little town in the world. It's the award-winning, critically acclaimed Get Up and Go Show on AM 1450 WSTU. You're invited to call the show anytime at 772-220-9788. And now, broadcasting live from the Palatial Studios, here are your hosts, Evan and Bonnie. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Announcer. It is March the 10th. Ooh, my voice cracked there. <laughs> it is March the 10th, 2021. Eat your damn dinner. Okay, I'll eat my dinner. Well, I ate that last night, actually. Everyone's looking great. Nice and sexy. That's right. We are always nice and sexy. Well, yeehaw! Yeah, I'm glad you're happy because I'm happy. And the reason I'm actually happy is because it is officially... 608 on the Get Up and Go show. And Mr. Clock, would you please certify that? It's now 608 a.m. That's right, 608 a.m. I am back in the saddle. And uh, I want to say a very special thank you to Brian Bazio from the Stewart Police Department because he helped me find my voice. How did he find your well, voice? They put out what's called an APB, Bonnie. They really, they were able to get that transmission and that signal and uh, yeah. with the new technology and go out and find that voice. Yeah, the Stewart Police Department put out an APB on my voice. I lost my voice two days ago. I was voiceless. My wife was very happy because she didn't have to listen to me for two days. And um, here I am back in the saddle. And what's even cooler is now we're a blended show this morning on WPSL. I have this uh, funny feeling <clears throat> that you're going to start to sound a little bit here and there like Peter Brady today. Remember oh on the Brady Bunch when yeah. Peter was going through that thing where he was reaching puberty and he yes. he was losing his voice a little bit. Well, if it's waited till I'm 60, going to be almost 61 years old one week from today and puberty's finally setting in after 61 years old, Bonnie. I'm in deep doo-doo. That's all I have to say. <laughs> um, who knows? You know, after you uh, make it through that p- puberty, you might be feeling good. You might be feeling on that level yeah. of uh, that high energy of like when you're in your early, reaching your 20s or in your early 20s and feel like you can conquer the world. Yes, sir. And of course, we are broadcasting. We are a blended morning show this morning on WPSL and WSTU. So if you're listening to us on WPSL this morning and you're wondering where G and Ray are, well, now it's their turn to have a day off. I took a couple of days so we uh, threw the cards back at them and we gave g the morning off and ray the morning off and now you're stuck with us i'm in the middle of that blend because i've been on blended morning shows all week here you're just in a blender (laughs) (laughs) that's all right we're blending you up it you know it just gives a nice uh change of scenery for me too when i can go up to fort pierce once in a while coming back down to stewart was Uh nice after i haven't been here in a couple of days yeah did you have a good time up there with g and the guys yeah we had a really good time yeah. you know did we, they feed you we talked about like a lot of sports we didn't eat uh all oh, the no. time i was there nobody See, we, we we give you food when nobody, phil comes in here you got food yeah and i didn't bring <laughs> any donuts this time around either i guess okay. we're all kind of dieting a little bit i found out from ray that he too has cut out carbonated beverages oh okay and i guess he's doing like a really good job about it he said okay. you know he goes to the store now he gets maybe an iced tea mm-hmm. no soda pop mm-hmm and for me, no beer at night, no mm-hmm. beer, no white Zinfandel, nothing with the carbonation. And, uh, you know, hopefully we're going to trim the waistline. Nothing. You're kind of one and done, huh? Yeah, nothing. Wow. Not, not a single carbonated wow. beverage. So my debacle all started Sunday. I yeah. was announcing the Mets game, and and my voice started to go. When I got up in the morning, I had like half a voice. And the reason that happened was prior to that, they had moved my location where I was announcing the games from. I was down in the press box. And on Thursday, March the 4th, I announced the game from down in the press box area. And it was cool. The weather was cool out and the wind was blowing. Was that Sunday when it was like really breezy? No, it was I Thursday. Was Thursday, home. March the 4th oh, okay. is when this all happened. So that's when I knew I had gotten a tickle in my throat. So then came around Sunday on March 7th and I went in to do the game and... I had hardly any voice. So here I am announcing with hardly any voice, and my voice is cracking. And one of my friends was at the game, and he texts me, and he goes, hey, are you here at the game? Because I'm hearing somebody else announcing the game. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, it's me. I'm like, I just have laryngitis. Oh, you sounded like a totally different person then? Oh, I sounded like this. (laughs) It was crazy. It was literally crazy. So I'm announcing the game, (laughs) and then I go home. 
And then I, and then I'm just, I'm thinking and I'm praying to God. I'm like, oh man, please God, please Lord, <laughs> don't take my voice from me. It's how I make my living. The way you just did that, you were sounding a little bit like Don Corleone there yeah. from The Godfather. Yes. Is hey, that the way you, you, you were coming across? Welcome to Clover Park. That's exactly the way it sounded. It was like, it was awful. It was the worst <laughs> feeling in the entire world. It really was. So is that how laryngitis starts? You can start to, by getting a little tickle in your throat? Well, there's all different, you know, there's lots of ways you can catch laryngitis laryngitis and get laryngitis and because I use my voice for a living and the different temperature changes and and the pollen and just different things it just it caught up yeah with, with that me. itis it uh, means an yeah. inflammation of the larynx yeah I suppose. It, exactly so I exactly. wonder what inflames it just I don't know is it a I wonder if it's like a virus I don't know maybe my wife slapped me upside the head <laughs> I don't know but anyway so on you know I went home Sunday and then I just you know I felt fine I, I had no temperature. I didn't have a sore throat or anything. And the first thing I'm thinking of, you know, everybody's thinking, all right, you're getting COVID. You know, everybody's just like. And you yeah. might be wondering that, too, just a little yeah, bit. I was a little scared. Yeah. So, you know, I, I checked my temperature. I had no symptoms at all. So I got a hold of, of Carol and, and Greg and, and the powers to be and everybody. And I said, listen, I have no voice. I can't do the radio show. So I took Monday off. And Monday, the voice was, you know, it was so-so, okay? It was was starting to heal, but it wasn't fully. And I'm like, all right, Monday went by. And then I'm like, all right, let me take one more day. Let me take Tuesday and just to be play it safe. And now here I am, and now you just can't shut me up. (laughs) Because the voice, is your voice feeling uh, completely bad? I think I'm about nine. Well, you heard my voice crack when I did the open to the show. I did. So I think I'm like, um, I want to say I'm probably... About ninety percent. Yeah, I'm ninety percent. And if you're feeling good, it seems like you have you're full of energy. Oh it's yeah, it's not cutting oh, your see cords. See, it just with, cracked um, again. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you feel alive and alert. Yeah, I so do. That's what I do. Well, after too. after being away from this, this is like a drug. I don't know what it is. It, it's like a drug being here behind the microphone, and then you're like the needle, and you inject me with that oh, drug, wow. Bonnie. I don't know. But it's a good drug. I never did want to be a nurse. Well, that's but... okay. Nurse Bonnie is in the house. Oh. And being away from you for two days, really, I, I, I'm going to go on record and say this. You know what, Bonnie? Yeah. I missed you. Oh, I missed you, too. I did. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing. <laughs> it's a, it's, it's... But we texted a little bit back yeah, and we, forth. Yeah, we texted a little bit, but... I just, I mean, I have to play this. You know, I mean, being away from you for two days was like, I don't know. It was just like being away from my other wife. Wow. I mean, it was like I was having withdrawals. And now your wife is glad that you're away for a little bit again, right? Well, no, she's not. Because you can get too, too much. Because now I have my voice back and she has to listen to me now. (laughs) See, I was, I was, I was, you know, I was stifled for two days. Are you constantly talking like when you're at home? All the time. See, I'm the opposite. Mm -hmm. Uh, Sometimes Gary has to get me to talk. So uh, sometimes at home I'm very, very quiet. Really? Yeah. Wow. I just have uh, moments where I kind of shut down. Yeah. Oh, the the wife enjoyed thing. the peace and quiet. It's a good thing you had his contact information because Who? I got Gary's information. Oh, yeah. I got a couple of texts from you. Well, mm-hmm. sometimes I'm in massage or something right. and I'm not always texting. Right, and I know you're busy, then I so I later. figured, you know what? Let me text Gary to tell you so this way, because I know how you are about your phone. See, over the last year, over a year I've known you. I know how you are about your phone. You're not a phone person. You're not a text person. You're just you're just not a, an electronics oh, no. person. You're and so far from that. There's like one solicitor. I yeah. swear, Evan, it was yesterday. One solicitor. I was at the store. I got home. I'm trying to clean. I'm trying to do stuff. Uh-huh. One solicitor calling me on the half hour, every half hour. Oh, that's worse. Uh, by the last time I got on, I said, listen... Listen, pal. You've been bothering me every half hour here. Please take me on, put me on your do not call yeah. list. Thank you. You know, you can block that number through your, and there's an app they have, Bonnie. You can. Yes. I know, And I've, yes. I've blocked those numbers yeah. before. I just didn't get around to even blocking. It's yeah, like, so I figured I'd text Gary just to play it safe to make sure that you got, because, I mean, it could be 12 hours, 24 hours before you check your text messages <laughs> sometimes. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to text Gary and tell Gary to tell you yeah, he did. this is and this is what's going on because <laughs> I want to keep him in the loop too. He would come on and tell me you're up in Fort Pierce tomorrow. Oh, you're up in Fort Pierce tomorrow. And, and again. you're like, uh, how do you know these things, Gary? <laughs> you're knowing them before I know you're, them. You're like, what's going on? How do you know the scoop? Oh, what's going on? I thought that was like really cute though. Yeah. <laughs>
Well, you know, I just, I'm the kind of person, I don't like to let people know last minute what's going on. Yeah. I like to keep you in the loop. So this way you're not getting in the car last second and you're driving down here. And then all of a sudden you get that text at five in the morning before you walk oh, in the yeah. door at exactly 538 AM. Yeah, and then have when to you turn walk the in the wheels. door, you got to turn the wheels. You got to go <laughs> all the way to Fort Pierce. And I'm like, oh my gosh, no, it's just not going to happen. I did you. that one night. I was coming home from uh, Palm City. It was after 10 mm-hmm. and they had the Port St. Lucie exit closed off oh, the no. turnpike. It was quite a while ago. Oh, that's awful. So I had to go all the way up to Fort Pierce wow. and exit the turnpike up there. You know, that happened on to me one morning when I was going to work here. I got on the turnpike on Becker Road to go south to Stewart. Yeah. And I saw the traffic was backed up. Oh, I And hate there that. wasn't construction. It was an accident. So I got down the ramp and I'm like, oh no, this can't happen. I have uh-huh. to be to work. So you know what I did? I did a U turn on the entrance ramp. Did you? And I drove back up the entrance ramp into oncoming traffic. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Into oncoming traffic? Yes, I did. Well, I can't believe the, I did that. You took what time of the was that earlier? It was like four thirty in the morning. Okay, when there's yeah. hardly any traffic. Yeah, exactly. But, you... but there were other people doing it. Okay. I led the four. I led the the lead there. Yeah. You know, sometimes... people saw me do it. They figured, what the heck? This guy's doing it. I'll do it. You know. Sometimes you just have to do that. Yeah. Oh, there was a time on the turnpike too when I missed my exit going to work in. Oh, Palm isn't City. that the worst? Yeah. Because then you're screwed. Then I don't know. I can't remember how far I had to go down to get off the turnpike yeah. just to come back up. Oh, you're just you're just out of luck because <laughs> you know the next exit you got to drive down to Jupiter. Yeah. No. And then you got to get on to Jupiter, turn back around. Uh huh. And then, God forbid, you dare not try to make a U-turn in those <laughs> lanes that are open up that says, for official use only. That's right. Well, you know what? I think that's official use, that you're late for work, and you have to make a U-turn. <laughs> so that would be my claim, is that that's official enough, Bonnie. <laughs> make be. the damn turn and go. Yeah, I was going to be late for work anyway. And then mm-hmm. I you know, I just had to tell them why why I was late. Yeah, I missed my I turn. I missed my exit. <laughs> on the turnpike. They're like, Bonnie, what's going on here? Oh, fortunately, though, that only happened once. Mm-hmm. You know, you, if it happens once, you really yeah. shouldn't let it happen again. Okay. But I, I suppose it could. Okay. So did I miss anything important in the two days I was gone? Can oh. you can you kind of catch me up here? Anything happen in your life that I need to know about? Because, I mean, like, oh. I just feel like I've missed two days of your entire life. Well, I guess the big, not in my life, but the big sports story of um, Dak Prescott from the Dallas Cowboys getting the huge, like, $160 million contract. And Gee, I wonder if he'll loan me 10 bucks. I know. I'm. Sh- I suppose you know, he think could. Think he'd loan you ten dollars? I think he's going to be okay for. Maybe a while. he'll buy lunch or something like that. Yeah. Who knows? But it was like I don't know some controversy about that. I guess. And, okay. Um, now All I guess right. I heard that Baker Mayfield too from the uh, Cleveland Browns might be getting oh, a wow. huge, huge contract. Okay. Okay. And, uh, Everybody's getting the family though. Um, Topanga. Every- yeah. You know your boy. Gary, everybody's good. I didn't miss nothing over two days. Oh, oh, the, just want to make sure. The big news, the big yeah. news might finally Uh-oh. come. I've been Uh-oh. saying it for years. Uh oh. I want to go to Dollywood. I want to go to Dollywood. Topanga and I might go to Dollywood together really? this summer. You're kidding me. I'm not kidding. So that means you're going to take a week vacation. Yeah. That means I got to ha- haul my little behind up to Fort Pierce <laughs> and sit in with G and Ray, <laughs> which I've never done that before. Oh, that's going to be a party, though. Oh, I that's going to be more than a party. Are you kidding? <laughs> that station will never be the same. The three of you together. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> wow. Do but, you realize how many years of broadcasting that is? That's over 180 years of broadcasting. Yeah, combined, right? Oh, my gosh. Combined, that is true. Wow. They'll have to get us a specialized art magazine. And then when Cliff... If Desmond arrives, then it's another um, oh, the nine hundred years combined. Now we're in the right? dinosaur era. Cliff has been, <laughs> but he's been doing a swap shop since they opened. Like right? I know, right? Way back when he's like the swap shop. He's like the almighty king of radio up there. Yes. Just like you're the goddess down I'm here, not. he's the king up there. But, but, oh lord, it he's is looking uh, like David Letterman lately oh too. He's got God. the long beard. <laughs> <laughs> it is six twenty-one. We're a blended show this morning on WSTU and WPSL. Time for news. Let's go to the news desk. Here's Bonnie. Thanks, Evan. The newest high school set to open this fall held an information session for prospective families Tuesday night. WPTV's Derek Lowe has the details. This is our opportunity to start her own fresh foundation, fresh new ground, being a part of history, 
change. Scheduled to open to 600 students this fall. It's so exciting to just watch the, the building get built behind us and to see the excitement on all these kids' faces as they come through. Tradition Prep High School in Port St. Lucie will be unique in that students will help set the tone for their education. Our kids are so smart, and if we give them the opportunity to be innovative and to create, they can. They know that they have great ideas. The tuition-free charter school will use an educational model they refer to as WISH. It stands for Wellness, Innovation, Science, and Health. We're going to build out our Health Science Academy, then our Computer Science Academy, um, and then probably engineering after that. The hope is to expose students to opportunities at facilities like the Cleveland Clinic. I think it's important that we... We put that into our curriculum. And to produce a workforce that can supply the growing demand. We do have a set standard curriculum with testing and things like that, but we're not teaching our kids the problem skills, the life skills. Partnering with different medical facilities in the community so our students have opportunities to do internships and, and um, really kind of get exposed to different career opportunities. In Port St. Lucie, I'm Derek Lowe, WPTV News Channel 5. Governor Ron DeSantis checked out a CVS pharmacy in Lehigh Acres in southwest Florida yesterday as he touted his success in putting seniors 65 plus to the front of the vaccine line. He says the number of seniors getting the virus is going down by the day. If you go back two months and saw what percentage of cases on a given day were seniors in Florida, it was I think about 18 percent. Now it's typically uh, less than that. It's typically 12, 13, 14 percent. The Cube Smart off US 1 at Palm City Road in Stewart, a three story self storage facility described by some as a concrete monstrosity, is no longer a plain gray slab towering over the road. Now it boasts jaunty red awnings. Cube Smart branding, faux windows, and more, all of which make it look like a self storage facility in formal wear. Many local residents thought the project was a poor fit. It actually might be an example of smart growth. It's right off a major artery where a facility of that size should be. The project included improvements to some nearby roads, which should benefit the neighborhood immediately adjacent to it. But people's objections seem to have less to do with these details than the aesthetics. It just looks out of place as you're heading north on US-1. It dominates the skyline, and we don't like the idea of some concrete monolith uh, looming over quaint small town Stewart. But the developer convinced the commission Stewart needed more housing as a comparably low price point. The weather Trillium's base price of the mid 200s for a three bedroom townhome with garage qualifies as low as a matter of opinion, though you will have a lovely view of Walmart. 400 Florida manatees have died during the first two months of the triple year triple the usual number. Uh, wildlife officials blame the disappearance of seagrass in the Indian River Lagoon in Brevard County due to poor water quality. Sea cows dine on sea seagrass. An Iowa journalist recounted getting pepper sprayed and arrested while covering a protest for racial justice last year, testifying in her own defense at her widely watched trial on charges stemming from the incident. Des Moines Register reporter Andrea Sahori told jurors she was running away from a scene where riot police had shot tear gas to disperse protesters outside a mall in Des Moines, Iowa. She said that after she rounded the corner of a Verizon store, she saw an officer charging at her and she put her hands up and said she was press. She said she was grabbed, pepper sprayed, and arrested anyway. On the second day of trial, Savori told jurors that she thought she was going to go blind after being pepper sprayed, which was extremely painful, the Associated Press reported. Sahori and her former boyfriend are charged with failure to disperse and interference with official acts. Jurors are expected to begin deliberations on Wednesday. Lastly, Roger Mudd, the longtime CBS News correspondent and anchor who later teamly briefed with Tom Brokaw on NBC Nightly News, has died, and he was 93. Mudd died Tuesday of kidney failure at his home in McLean, Virginia, according to CBS news.
Major League Baseball. Now some of those uh, spring training scores from yesterday. We have the Boston Red Sox losing to Tampa Bay Rays 11-3. Detroit Tigers 8-5 over the New York Yankees. The Phillies lost to Toronto Blue Jays 4-1. Chicago Cubs win by a run over Oakland. The New York Mets take another win 5-3 over the Cardinals. And the Washington Nationals a tie with Houston for all. Our news time is 626 and we'll have weather and traffic together next. This will be another El Nino year, although a weaker one. So if you incurred roof damage in the last two years, Code Red Roofers is there to help you with all of your roofing needs. Code Red Roofers, the roofers who respond 24-7. And there are flexible payment options for metal, tile, shingle, or flat roofs. Code Red Roofers, say habla espanol. Code Red Roofers, 844-4-CODE-RED. That's 844-4-CODE-RED. Six twenty-seven. The time on the Get Up and Go Show. We're a blended show this morning. WPSL WSTU. It's time for traffic and weather together. It's all brought to you by Code Red Roofers, Bonnie. Well, as we take a look at the uh, latest report coming up from the Florida Highway Patrol, we are not seeing any accidents right here in Stewart. But we do see one, a vehicle crash with injuries and roadblock. This is up on the turnpike in Vero Beach. And this one, it looks like it is northbound at mile marker 188 in Vero Beach. And up that way, the right lane is blocked at the moment on the turnpike. And there's your latest look at traffic. Partly cloudy at 65 in Port St. Lucie in Haley, Idaho this morning. 23 and partly cloudy. Here's our forecast at WPTV. Happy Wednesday, sunshines. This morning along the Treasure Coast, breezy winds and cool temperatures. Morning lows in the low to mid-60s under partly cloudy skies. This afternoon, a touch warmer than yesterday. Highs in the mid-70s, a mix of sun and clouds, and a slim chance for a stray, fast-moving shower. Tomorrow through Friday, similar weather, highs in the mid to upper 70s, breezy winds and low rain chances. Over the weekend, highs in the low 80s, plenty of sunshine and our winds calming down. I'm WPTV First Alert Meteorologist Katya Hall on WSTUAM 1450 Martin County's Heritage Station. Insurance Group plans on improving it on our Quality of Life radio show Tuesday mornings at 10 on both WPSL and WSTU. Hi, I'm Gary Owen of the Owen Insurance Group, along with Tom Bouvier. We'll help you on the road of life and make it a better one. Don't forget the Quality of Life radio show Tuesdays at 10 on WPSL and WSTU on TuneIn and Alexa. Are you looking for your dream home on the Treasure Coast? I am Eileen Simons, a licensed Realtor with EXP Realty. My team and I can help you find your dream home. I bring 20 plus years experience in the residential real estate market, helping both buyers and sellers achieve their dreams. Call me at 772-200-5105 or visit our website at mydreamhomeusa.com. So, have you heard this one? A priest and a rabbi come into this radio station. (laughs) Really, it's a priest and a rabbi. Right here, Friday mornings beginning at 9. Here on WSTU AM 1450. Bring your questions and join their lively conversation with Father Christian from St. Mary's Episcopal Church and Rabbi Matt Durbin from the Temple Beit Hayim. It's a priest and a rabbi. Friday mornings at 9 here on WSTU. If you have a suggestion for the show, we would love to hear from you. Send us an email to WSTUMorningShow at gmail.com. Now let's get back to the Get Up and Go Show. Here's Evan and Bonnie. The MMR 
MMA and the WWE come together at BBW, the ultimate smackdown at Bath and Body Works. Just when you thought it was safe to shop for some ultra chic coconut body scrub, it's go time between the hand soaps and the three wick candles. In one corner, the girl buying the lemon mint leaf broom spray versus the girl getting the passion fruit and banana flower body cream. Shells of foaming scented hand soap have never been more dangerous. Don't miss the bone crushing tactics. Take excitement with extra soft skin. Bath and Body Works, Scottsdale Fashion Square. Be there. Is that crazy or what? That's kind of what it was like when people were going for the hand sanitizer. Oh, yeah, the hand sanitizer. And you, people were getting really crazy over those holiday fragrances, I know. too, with the, the lotions. And Tell me about it. I could have gone through the same thing right around Christmas time. I did go there uh, three days before Christmas to buy for Topanga because she says Bath and Body Works is the only perfumes and lotions that I will use now. Oh, well, excuse me. But I got there at 9. <laughs> yeah, I got there at 9 to the mall, so I was like the first one of the first people to get into oh. it, into the store. Okay. So I didn't have any problem with fighting over sanitizers right. or sc- spraying anybody or getting sprayed. Okay. All right. Well, that's a good thing. We have a call. Good morning. You're on the air with Evan and Bonnie. Who's this? Yeah, man. Oh, hey. Good morning, Fredo. How are you this morning? Doing well. Hi, You're- Bonnie. Hey, baby. How you doing? Fredo, I heard you uh, called the morning show yesterday, and then all of a sudden you weren't there. Where did you go? Yeah, What what's going on with that, you know? He told me to call back. Oh, yeah? did he? Oh, okay. I wasn't yeah. listening at the time. Oh, he just okay. said, he said it was Fredo on the phone. Do you know him? And I said, oh, yeah, I know him. He's our band leader. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But then I thought you were going to be on with us, and then, oh, there's no Fredo. So I wonder. I was just wondering where you went. So, Fredo, did you miss me for two days or what? Absolutely. Actually, I thought your voice had changed. You sound like, a, you know, like, a, like a, some skinny guy from like, uh, <laughs> some, like a whole radio station. Skinny or guy? Like Are you insinuating that I'm you know large or something like that? You said it. I didn't. Okay. Well, I just want to make sure. Just want to make sure. But you know, I'm back and 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 bigger than ever, and and my voice is good. It's powerful and it's booming. And you know, it just so happens we're a blended show this morning. We're on uh, two different radio stations this morning. Yeah, man. Yeah. By the way, I know all about like laryngitis. One time, I was on set with Jack Clubbin on Quincy. Uh huh. And we were there, and some girl came on the stu- into the studio and gave everybody laryngitis. Yeah, You're cool. kidding me. Oh wow, that's yeah. not good. Wow. That's not good. That's so what's on tap for Fredo today? Uh, you know, I haven't talked to you in a couple of days. And, you know, what do you what have you been doing the last couple of days? I want to make sure you're not in any trouble. Well, no, I've just been doing my barbecue, my fish fry, my foot rub. Yeah, okay. Man. Okay. All right. And uh, I got an appointment with Bonnie today. She's giving me a massage. Yeah, man. Oh, oh. you're going to. Oh, you have oh. an appointment with Bonnie. Now, are what type of massage are you going to get? Are you going to get stretched out by Bonnie, you know, because she does stretching, and then she also does, what are the other types of massages you do, Bonnie? I do, do like a Swedish, a Swedish and a medium. And a medium, but nice. she doesn't do deep therapeutic, yeah, where I don't do a she real whips your behind. deep tissue, no. Yeah, maybe she should, though. I do a happy medium. Yeah, so, so um, you know, w- with that said, I-, I think you would probably be best with the uh, the stretch out, where she literally stretches you and maybe she'll whip your little behind back in shape. No, that's it. That's what I'm afraid of. Yeah, man, because I don't want to sit there and get all beat up by Bonnie. Well, you know? let me I, tell you I, I, something. I'm not me up in my lap. You know, I don't need her to do that. Well, yeah. she's a tiny little thing, but her hands are like dynamite. And if you mess with her, they'll explode on your back. That's all I'm going to tell heard you. I her, her hands had to be registered with the police department. Yeah, That's, you know, I heard, her, I heard her hands were lethal weapons at times. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, have man. to insure them. Yeah, her hands are insured, by the way. She has a private insurance policy just for her hands alone. Just like J-Lo insures her buttocks, I must yeah. insure my hands. <laughs> <laughs> she does have a nice butt, yeah, man. And we have to <laughs> ensure right that your hands yeah. do not go there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We gotta, we gotta make sh- make sure that Bonnie's hands are properly insured. Yeah, man. All right, so we got to run because we got other calls coming in. We got business to take care of, and um, your shenanigans are 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 mediocre this morning. So that's fine. We'll keep you on the Richter scale and keep you in check. So just make sure and uh, that you pass all your health inspections with your. Uh, your barbecue and your fish fry vehicle that you use to go out wherever you go, okay? Uh, don't worry about that. Nothing that a $100 bill can't take care of. Oh, jeez. You know, Fredo, you have to understand, money can't buy everything, okay? Everybody but, doesn't have a price. But it's fun to try. Yeah, All man. right. All right, Fredo. Have a good day. We'll talk to you later. All right. Bye-bye. He That's, sounds uh, like he's leader. mellowed out at least a little bit. Yeah, he did he sounds... sound like he's mellowed out just a little yeah. bit. He must have had a big weekend or maybe he's tired. I don't know. Anything's possible. Let's do some viral videos. <laughs> Oh, 
So there's a, a professional matchmaker who says people should wait 12 dates before having sex. Okay, a professional matchmaker says that people should wait 12 dates. at least 12 different dates before they have sex with their significant so-called other. One of the main reasons is because sexual activity releases the hormone that's called oxy. Tossin. Yeah, it makes you like feel good and high and Which, in love. Yeah, it makes you feel blind to all the red flags in a relationship. So here she is in this video talking about one of her segments. Let's listen. I'm a professional matchmaker and I suggest to my followers and my clients that you should wait 12 days before having sex. In the previous parts, I talked about the math behind how to get to 12 dates. Let's talk about why now. So when you have sex, you release this hormone called oxytocin, also known as the cuddle hormone. No and if you're a woman, is. you can quite literally become blind to seeing all the red flags or pink flags of the person you're dating. So my suggestion is to just wait a little bit, discover if you actually like this person and figure out if they have the red flags you're not looking for. What do I mean by that? Figure out what they're like on a bad day. What they're like on a good day. <laughs> what they're like when you're having a bad day. And more importantly, what they're like when you're having a good day. I want to know what makes this lady a professional expert. Because you know what? I, I personally think that she's just somebody that decided to just make a video. Well, she should have had the advice for the gals on Sex in the City. From yeah. what I remember, Carrie Bradshaw, sometimes mm -hmm. she would jump in the sack with those fellas right away. Yeah. She should have waited at least 12 dates before jumping I don't know. in the sack. My advice, uh, and again, this is this is just me. This is just me speaking. Okay, you don't have to adhere to my advice, but I would agree with her at least wait 12 dates. Wait a while before you give yourself up to somebody. Yeah, and you know she you know? she does have a point because yeah. when you're, you know, caught in that new relationship and yeah. those first couple of dates you are really just puppy in, love. Pu in awe, and uh, yeah. so awe uh, and the hor oh. and the hormones are going too. Oh, are you kidding? The Raging. The hormones are just like flying oh. and Forget it. Yeah. It's off the charts. So not bad to just like really take time yeah. and, and get to know somebody. Welcome to this segment. It's brought to you by Dr. Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun to have her in in? With I us? actually interviewed her. Wait, Bonnie, look oh. at this. Hold on, I'm going to show you something in my phone. Okay. Okay, hold on. I'll <laughs> show, I'll show you something. You'll be like, no way. I, if I still have it, let me look. Uh, let me look. It would be her. so right. much fun to like. Oh, she's a she's a trip. Have her here. Okay, she's she's not. She there. like about ninety five by now. Are you kidding? She's, she's beyond that. Oh my gosh. Um, what doctor, if she's still working it and giving no, the advice? No, I used to have her phone number from when I used to do syndicated talk radio. Uh -huh. I don't have it anymore. I okay. used to have her phone number. Um, but, but I used to have her on the show, and she's a trip, let me tell you. Oh, I bet. There's a little four yeah. foot eight inch German lady. She's just amazing. Yeah. So there's a keyboard player who posts videos of, of himself on TikTok. Now, these are random videos he posts while he's playing keyboards, and he has different animals singing along. Oh, how cute. And you're going to like this one because this one is of a cat. <laughs> That is cute. <laughs> it looks like there might be another cat in the picture, too, that that one yes. cat is talking to, like, you're bothering me. Get away from me. And the video. Oh, here it goes. Hold on. Let me play it again. It buffered. Here we go. Because there's a lot more to it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a cat singing along to a keyboard player. Yeah. What the heck is this world coming to? That kid must love his pets and his animals. Lord have mercy. <laughs> I just cannot believe that. <laughs> I can't believe that. And the young keyboard player, it looks like he's, is he Chinese or Japanese? He's I, got the glasses I, I'm not on I'm like not, Waldo. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure if he's, if he's from the Chinese descent. I don't know. Yeah, but he looks like he's real serious yeah. about playing that keyboard matter too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's 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 crazy. Hi, good morning. You're on the air with Evan and Bonnie. Who's this? Well. Oh. <laughs> you know, I should have known, Bonnie, I should have known that Big Kitty was going to call in when we did that. He would be intrigued by the sound of another Big Kitty, yes. Oh, my gosh. Good morning, Big Kitty, and how are you today? Well. 
Wait, let me hold on. Wait, let me get my book out. Cat talk for dummies, <laughs> so I can translate. Okay, I have I have my book out. Big okay. kitty, did you think that one kitty's voice did it sound sexy to you? Yes. Oh, wow. Big kitty says yes. <laughs> okay, and uh, what are you up to, Big kitty? Can you let us know what you're doing today? Oh, oh, oh okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, you're going with Fredo. Okay, you're you're gonna do the um uh the the fish fry. Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. You better get Fredo to open up a can of meaty for you quickly because it it sounded like Fredo when he called before he's going to go to sleep. So you better uh, wake him up and have him feed you, big kitty. Exactly. (laughs) Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Very good. Very good. Well, um, (laughs) we we appreciate you calling, but uh, we're very we're very busy this morning. So I'm I'm going to run. I'm going to let you go. And thank you for calling. I know you're yeah. upset because I normally give you more time, but yeah. unfortunately, you know, we do have a morning show that we have to run and we have lots of things yeah. to do, especially we're simulcasting on both stations this morning. Yeah. We're a blended show. So yeah. I, I hope you understand and you don't get mad, okay? Yeah. All right. Very good. Well, listen, you yeah. have a very, very nice day, Big Kitty, and we'll talk to you later. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye. Oh, okay. Well, calm down there, okay? Jeez. <laughs> Cat was a little ticked off at us this morning. He's cleaning up the litter box. Yeah, he's cleaning up the litter. Speaking of cleaning up the litter box, how is um, Jack Frosty doing? Jack Frosty's been doing excellent yeah. lately because I buy the, uh, uh, it's called Fresh Step. And you know I've changed the cat litter. I don't mm-hmm. buy I don't buy the cheap stuff anymore. Okay. You know I'm into that fresh step action okay. now. All right. Is that the one that clunks up or something like it, that? This doesn't clump up at all. No. And um, it okay. smells. It says it right on the bag that it will smell fresh for a week. Okay. So say even if I try to change my litter every two to three days anyway, but say okay. like if I forget a day, it's not totally stinking up the rooms. Okay. And then when you uh when you uh empty this cat litter and you start to wash it out like mm-hmm. I do. I wash it out. I clean it out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, it doesn't, it, that fresh step has such an odor to it okay. that it doesn't bother you so much even when you're cleaning as So as are you telling me smell. that the cat is not peeing on the carpet no more? No, because um, it, it, Thank likes the its, Lord. it likes its fresh step too. So we found the problem, we think. And I found the product. <laughs> yeah. You found the product and you yeah. solved the problem. But anybody that... It's been the damn cat litter I'm, all along. And I know it's like an Bonnie, advertisement here for a fresh step. That's but all right. cat lovers, anybody that does have cats or more than one, I would I would recommend this cat litter. Okay. I, I swear by it now. So you, that's what happens when you tried to save a couple of bucks. Yeah. And you ticked off the cat because the cat deserved better and it felt like it needed to be treated like a king. So instead... <laughs> You were treating it like a pawn instead of a king. They are treated like kings. I have two cats, and I have three big litter boxes. Yeah. So there's more, there's more enough places to go to go go around. Well, now you got plenty of fresh yeah. step. Yeah. Because now they have fresh steps everywhere. And maybe I can get another cat now. No, I'm just. Oh kidding. no, no, <laughs> Gary. Gary just fell out of the bed. No, I think right now. He would too. By oh my that. gosh! If you tell him you want a third cat, forget yeah, it. Yeah, because he said after that, these kitties maybe no more cats. That's it. Maybe a dog. Yeah, pr- could it switch probably over be a to dog. a dog. It might be a German Shepherd, like, oh, like you all great. have. Um, we have a Belgian Malinois. They're, yeah. they're very similar to the German Shepherd. They get, everybody gets them confused. Yours is very pretty. Thanks, I appreciate the, I've that. I've seen the picture. She's a beauty, and she's a handful. Let me tell you. Yeah. Yeah, she's I, a handful. But he always talks about getting a German Shepherd puppy, mm-hmm. or you know that that might be the dog that we would get. Well, any kind of dog that you get, if it's a puppy, it does take a lot of work yeah. to um, crate train and. Also to potty train as well. You're, so you're right. here, here's an idea for you: um, go to a shelter, go to a no kill shelter oh. or, or any shelter, and maybe you and Gary can find a German Shepherd that's already housebroken that somebody just couldn't keep, and you can give it a new home. That's what I would like to do yeah. too. You're right, Evan. It's a a dog that thing that already do. needs a home. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I got. I went to, I had Dalmatians at one time. I had two Dalmatian female dogs. She's seeing spots everywhere. I couldn't fathom that one. Yeah, and I went to get them from the uh, Miami Dalmatian Mm -hmm, rescue. This mm -hmm, lady has mm -hmm. a rescue in North Miami. Right. So I went to get a couple of Dalmatians from there. Wow. Yep. Now, if you get a Dalmatian, get ready to work because they 
have a lot of energy. Oh, yes. They need to be walked. Yes, and um, they need a fire hydrant, too. Because <laughs> yeah. those, those are the firehouse dogs. And they're the Budweiser dogs. <laughs> yes, too, definitely, definitely. Yeah. It is 646 on the Get Up and Go Show with Evan and Bonnie. We're a blended show this morning on WPSL as well. It's time for news all brought to you by our good friends at St. Lucie Jewelry and Coin for the best deals in town. Make sure and go check out Hawk Levy at one of his locations at St. Lucie Jewelry and Coin. Here's Bonnie with the headlines. Good morning, Bonnie. Good morning, Evan. The newest high school set to open this fall held an information session for prospective families on Tuesday night. WPTV's Derek Lowe has the details. This is our opportunity to start her own fresh foundation, fresh new ground, being a part of history, change. Scheduled to open to 600 students this fall. It's so exciting to just watch the the building get built behind us and to see the excitement on all these kids' faces as they come through. Tradition Prep High School in Port St. Lucie will be unique in that students will help set the tone for their education. Our kids are so smart, and if we give them the opportunity to be innovative and to create, they can. They know that they have great ideas. The tuition-free charter school will use an educational model they refer to as WISH. It stands for Wellness, Innovation, Science, and Health. We're going to build out our Health Science Academy, then our Computer Science Academy, um, and then probably engineering after that. The hope is to expose students to opportunities at facilities like the Cleveland Clinic. I think it's important that we... We put that into our curriculum. And to produce a workforce that can supply the growing demand. We do have a set standard curriculum with testing and things like that, but we're not teaching our kids the problem skills, the life skills. Partnering with different medical facilities in the community so our students have opportunities to do internships and and, um, really kind of get exposed to different career opportunities. In Port St. Lucie, I'm Derek Lowe, WPTV News Channel 5. A Florida high-speed rail line faces a lawsuit from Richard Branson's Virgin Group. Joel Milken reports. Right line trains have been sidelined for about a year due to the pandemic. With plans to get back on track later this year, trains running from West Palm Beach to Miami and we're continuing to expand the service to Orlando. From 2018 until last summer, it was known as Virgin Trains USA, but Brightline pulled out of that marketing partnership. That brought about a hefty suit from Virgin, which is now before London court. Branson's company is asking for more than $250 million in damages, claiming under the terms of the licensing deal, the rail line was unable to drop the Virgin name until 2023. Virgin wants royalties and an early termination fee. I'm Joel Malkin. A Florida congressman is joining the fight to hashtag Free Britney. U.S. Representative Matt Gates, Florida, wrote a letter to House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jerry Nadler of New York on Monday asking for a hearing on court-ordered conservatorships that was the subject of a recent Britney Spears documentary. In recent years, there has been growing public concerns about the use of conservatorships to effectively deprive individuals of personal freedoms at the behest of others through the manipulation of the courts, Getz wrote. He cited the situation with Spears in a California court as the most striking example. The letter, which was co-authored by U.S. Representative Jim Jordan of Ohio, calls into question the motives and legal tactics of Spears' father and co-conservator Jamie Spears, which was highlighted in the New York Times documentary Framing Britney Spears. Lastly, 400 Florida manatees have died during the first two months of the year, triple the usual number. Wildlife officials blame the disappearance of seagrass in the Indian River Lagoon in Brevard County due to poor water quality. Sea cows dine on seagrass. Paul Pierce, Chris Bosch. Chris Weber, Michael Cooper, Lauren Jackson, Ben Wallace, and Yolanda Griffith are among the finalists in the 2021 Nesmith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame class, announced Tuesday on ESPN's The Jump. Pierce, a first-time nominee, spent 15 of his 19 NBA seasons with the Boston Celtics, winning a championship and finals MVP in 2008. He's a 10-time All-Star and second on the Celtics' career scoring list behind John Havlicek. News time here is 6.50. We'll have weather and traffic together next.
time I stepped into St. Lucie Jewelry and Coins, I figured it would just be one of my many stops on my road to the perfect engagement ring. My fiancé means the world to me, so I wanted something extra special. I found a huge selection of engagement rings at great prices, and my worry about finding the perfect engagement ring was quickly replaced with exceptional customer service. St. Lucie Jewelry's over 400 five-star reviews really told the story. I finally picked a ring, and it was perfect. She was floored, and then the tears came. Hi. This is Hawk Levy, owner of St. Lucie Jewelry and Coins. We're now celebrating 26 years. Voted best diamond dealers, best jewelry buyers, and best jeweler year after year. Come celebrate with us in opening our third location at 1335 St. Lucie West Boulevard next to Publix. We invite you to take a tour of our competition, but then come see us last. <laughs> right now on the Get Up and Go show with Evan and Bonnie. It's time for traffic and weather together, all brought to you by Waterway Dermatology. Uh, Dr. Ryan Shearing, located at 1050 Monterey Road in Stewart, bringing personalized health care back to dermatology, the waterway. Bonnie? We are looking at a couple of accidents this morning in Hobe Sound. On I-95 southbound, there is an accident at mile marker 96. There's not any roadblock from that accident and up to the north of us on the turnpike there's an accident in Vero Beach northbound with some roadblock the right lane is blocked as you're heading up north on the turnpike and you're hitting mile marker 188 in Vero Beach so look for maybe a little bit of, of a slowdown this morning if you're heading up that way and there's your latest look at traffic 68 right here in Stewart and in Oxford, England, 45 clouds and showers. Here's our forecast at WPTV. Happy Wednesday, sunshines. This morning along the Treasure Coast, breezy winds and cool temperatures. Morning lows in the low to mid 60s under partly cloudy skies. This afternoon, a touch warmer than yesterday. Highs in the mid 70s, a mix of sun and clouds and a slim chance for a stray fast moving shower. Tomorrow through Friday, similar weather, highs in the mid to upper 70s, breezy winds and low rain chances. Over the weekend, highs in the low 80s, plenty of sunshine and our winds calming down. I'm WPTV First Alert Meteorologist Katya Hall on WSTUAM 1450 Martin County's Heritage Station. Dermatology is now open in Stewart, a new independently owned dermatology practice with Dr. Ryan Shuring, board certified for your medical or cosmetic skin care needs. Office hours 9 to 5 Monday through Saturday with extended hours from 9 to 7 on Thursdays. Serving Martin and St. Lucie counties in the Monterey Triangle Building, US 1 and Monterey Road, Stewart. Waterway Dermatology, bringing personalized health care back to dermatology the waterway. Book a consultation at waterwayderm.com or call 561-926-6150 for Waterway Dermatology. Today's to-do list. Stop and get coffee, go to work, swing by the grocery store, eat dinner, go to sleep, get up, do it all over again. Seacoast believes spending time with your loved ones should be on your everyday to-do list. Seacoast Air Conditioning, family-owned and operated for over 38 years, knows the importance of family. Whether it's reading a bedtime story, sharing your day around the dinner table, or just picking up the phone and calling mom. These are the moments that are remembered for a lifetime. Comfort crisis, don't roast, call Seacoast. Here's a quick tip if you're ever stumped for a business you can trust. The Martin County Business Exchange has more than 70 companies you can count on for good service and fair prices. Whether it's for you, your house, or your office, get online at mcbiz.us. You'll find local businesses you can count on for quality, service, and fair prices. Visit mcbiz.us. Martin County Business Exchange. It's just good business. Taking your business to the next level requires money, and the Florida SBDC at Indy River State College has the expertise and connections to help you acquire your growth capital. Hi, I'm Michael Bernard, business consultant with the Florida SBDC at IRSC. We offer no-cost consulting and low-cost training to help you prepare and obtain financing. Whether you're looking for a traditional bank loan, government-backed loan, or a loan provided by an alternative lender, 
We have the tools, expertise, and resources to help you obtain the financing needed to succeed. While Florida SBDCs do not loan money or administer grants, our consultants maintain valuable relationships with local lenders and understand their lending requirements. Our certified business consultants, many of whom are former bankers and business owners, will provide confidential assistance to help guide you through the process of securing the right source of capital for your business. For one-on-one business consulting at no cost, contact the Florida SBDC at IRSC at 336-6285, online at irscbiz.com. The chores you should be doing in your garden this month. That's coming up on This Land of Ours. Are you stuck inside but looking for bargains on new and secondhand goods? Try HiBid.com, the online auction site for just about anything. HiBid.com offers a safe and easy way to find hundreds of thousands of items for sale every day. From rare coins to fine jewelry, tools to vintage toys, and classic cars to real estate, HiBid.com has it all. HiBid.com makes it easy to find what you're looking for, and the site is simple to use. Come to HiBid.com, that's H-I-B-I-D.com, and start discovering great deals today. If your soil could talk, what would it say? If it's healthy, it may already be saying some good things about your future. Because farmers who use soil health building systems that include no-till, cover crops, and diverse species and rotations report greater productivity, profitability, and resiliency to weather extremes. Learn more about what your soil is saying about its health and your future. Contact your local USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service office today. This message brought to you by USDA and this radio station. Here are some of the common regional gardening chores to tackle during the month of March. Spring is well underway in the southeast, and if all danger of frost has passed, you should be fertilizing your lawn, roses, and perennials. Warm season annuals, such as marigolds and petunias, can be planted this month. Spring has also sprung in the lower elevations of the southwest, which means it's time to prune spring-blooming shrubs after flowering and plant cucumbers, squash, cantaloupe, and sunflowers. For those in the northwest, you're still ordering seeds if you live east of the Cascades, but west side gardeners in the Pacific Northwest region have have work to do, such as setting out non-toxic slug bait, buying seedlings for warm weather crops, as well as planting cabbage and cauliflower. Days are getting warmer, drier, and the weather is ideal for gardening in the western region. Hand pulling weeds while they're still small should be on your March to-do list. And fertilize established citrus trees. I'm Kathy Isom, Southeast Admin. If you have a suggestion for the show, we would love to hear from you. Send us an email to WSTUMorningShow at gmail.com. Now let's get back to the Get Up and Go show. Here's Evan and Bonnie. 658 on a blended show, and we're going to have a very special guest in studio coming up at 7 o'clock, Bonnie. He was uh, hanging out at the front door, and we had no idea. Who could that special guest be? I don't know. We don't want to reveal who it is, but people are just going to have to tune in and listen. Yeah. It's somebody that uh, comes from, you know, a brother of a different mother as a sister from a different uh, mister or something of that sort. Is that where they come from? Yeah, somewhere, something like that. (laughs) Anyway, we're WSTU Stewart's. Martin County's Heritage Station, where WPSL Port St. Lucie, the talk of the Treasure Coast. We'll take a short pause for the cause. The news is coming up next. Don't go nowhere. the virus and solving our economic crisis. But House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats are on their own. Fox's Rachel Sutherland has more live. Dave, the $1.9 trillion relief bill includes $1,400 stimulus checks, an additional $300 a week in unemployment benefits, and $350 billion for state and local governments. Wyoming Republican Liz Cheney says the package is too big. We could have had a bill that was... um, you know, a fraction of the cost of this one. There's also $160 billion for coronavirus testing and vaccine distribution. The White House is planning a signing ceremony. The American Rescue Plan is one of President Biden's top legislative priorities. Dave? 
Rachel, the White House admits with a surge in immigrant kids coming to the U.S. alone, tripling the number in Border Patrol custody in just weeks. There are more children coming across the border than we have facilities for at this point in time. Press Secretary Jen Psaki, there's also been an increase in adults. Republicans called a crisis. Texas Governor Greg Abbott. We need more ICE detention facilities in this area immediately. Hundreds of migrants have tested positive for the coronavirus. Governor Abbott's order to lift the Texas mask mandate takes effect today, though some businesses can and will still require people to wear masks. Now, on Friday, Maryland will join other states lifting capacity restrictions on bars and restaurants and gyms and salons. Arkansas is the next abortion battleground. The governor signed a new law nearly banning the procedure, and it'll be challenged in court. There are more children... Under the new measure, the only time an abortion would be legal is if it's to save the life of the mother. That's Fox's Rob exception. Dawson. America's listening. Fox. Businesses that run like clockwork establish routines they trust. That's why over a million companies rely on Cintas. We'll help you protect employees and customers with essential safety supplies. Inspect your fire protection systems and devices. Hygienically launder your uniforms and keep you well-stocked with the leading hand sanitizers and disinfecting wipes. Learn how Cintas can help you open your doors with confidence. Oh, I'm ready! Visit Cintas.com and get ready for the workday. Heard the good news about COVID-19 vaccines? They're here, but you can do more than wait for your turn. Here's how. Stay at least six feet away from folks you don't live with. And it's risky to be indoors with them, too. And masks? Well, they protect both the person wearing them and the folks around them. Wear a mask, watch your distance, and make a big difference now. Learn more about vaccines at cdc.gov slash coronavirus. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo has a sixth accuser, another woman coming forward claiming he touched her inappropriately, adding to allegations and the COVID nursing home death controversy that has Republicans and some of his fellow Democrats calling on the governor to resign. Governor Cuomo told reporters he was not aware of the latest allegations in the Albany Times Union. He maintained he did nothing in the presence of his accusers that could be considered harassment. As I said last week, I never made any inappropriate advances. I said last week, no one ever told me at the time that I made them feel uncomfortable. Cuomo says he will respect the independent investigation by the state attorney general. He also said until facts are revealed, he will not rule out running for a fourth term as governor. Grinnell Scott, Fox News. Now that President Biden brought the U.S. back into the Paris Climate Agreement, his climate envoy John Kerry went to Brussels for talks with our allies. No one country can resolve this crisis. It will take every country. Well, it's not just countries working on this. Just a little over a year after investing $10 billion in the Bezos Earth Fund, Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos says all the money will be spent by 2030 to target changes in the climate. No specific plans for the money were announced, but the fund's new head, Andrew Steer, says more than a billion dollars a year will go to non-governmental organizations, scientists, climate activists, and the private sector to help develop new technologies and investments, as well as changes to behavior and policies as they relate to the world's climate. Rich Dennison, Fox News. On Wall Street, where Bezos made a fortune to become the world's richest man, Stock futures have been mixed the day after the Dow gained 30, and the Nasdaq surged more than 400 points. I'm Dave Anthony. This is Fox News. Affordable flooring. The two locations, Fort St. Lucie and Fort Pierce. Why go to the big box stores when you can get good personal service right here at your local dealer? Get a wood-look porcelain tile starting at $5.99 a square foot installed or waterproof vinyl starting at $4.99 a square foot installed. Call Lenny for more information. Fort St. Lucie, call 398-1320 and in Fort Pierce, 409-4117. Affordable flooring. At St. Lucie Battery and Tire... Batteries came before tires. We've been selling and servicing all types of batteries for over 50 years. So when you need a battery for nearly anything, we have it, as well as the fast, professional installation you need. We carry premium batteries for all your needs, automotive, commercial, marine, RV, and specialty. We also offer delivery and on-site installation. 
serving our customers quality products for over 50 years in the home of honest, reliable service. Go to slbt.com and book your next appointment. Pack your bags and move to tradition, Fort St. Lucie's most popular area. GHO's Lake Park is a 55-plus active adult neighborhood. Relax in two clubhouses and walk Rufus to the dog park. Right now, there are four move-in ready homes and more that will be ready before summer. Three bedroom, two baths with over 1,800 square feet in the low 300s. For more information about Lake Park, GHO's newest 55-plus active adult neighborhood, visit ghohomes.com slash Lake Park. No hype, just facts. I'm Casey, and I invite you to tune into the Casey Ingram Show at my new time, Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Hear from community leaders, learn about some of our great nonprofit organizations, get the latest updates from our elected officials, and meet the candidates. Even rock and roll legends have joined the show from time to time. I'm conservative but not divisive, bringing you the talk of the community. It is a fun and interesting hour beginning at 10 a.m. every Wednesday on WSTU AM 1450 and Facebook Live at the Casey Ingram Show. Coming to you live from Stewart, Florida, the greatest little town in the world, it's the award-winning, critically acclaimed Get Up and Go Show on AM 1450 WSTU. You're invited to call the show anytime at 772-220-9788. And now, broadcasting live from their palatial studios, here are your hosts, Evan and Bonnie. Oh, thank you very much, Madam Announcer. It is March the 10th, 2021. We are a blended show this morning. You guys are living the good life. Yeah, we always try to live the good life without a doubt. That was really a productive segment. Well, all, all our segments are very productive. Push the button! Push the button! I'm pushing as many buttons as I can this morning. Time now is officially 7.08. Mr. Clock, would you please certify that? It's now 7.08 a.m. Thank you very much. Uh, Bonnie, it is officially 7.08 a.m. It is good that we know it. And, uh, oh, look who's here. We have our yeah, awesome, look who's here. awesome friend. Good awesome noon. Guest. Good noon, man, after Lady Gentle Body. He, he just oh, waddled I, I, in the I've front door. I've only been standing at the front door for 30 minutes. Yeah. Oh, uh, You know, I thought I heard a door knock, and, you know, and I, I, I thought it was my imagination. I took the app out. I said, well, hell, let me just check them out. Yeah. I opened up the app. Yeah. Tune in radio. Uh-huh. And, t- and waited for you guys to go into a commercial break. I'm mm-hmm. like, here's my opportunity to knock on the door really hard, and they'll hear me. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Yeah. I'm knocking. <laughs> nothing. Crick- I'm like, what crickets. the heck are they doing? So I finally text, I text Evan. Evan, I'm at the door. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, he, he doesn't. He doesn't look at his. You phone probably like thought that. we were Cheech and Chong. So, Bonnie, over here. the only reason I got in is because you got up to go to the bathroom and you saw me standing there. You saw a shadow at the door. Is that, what the heck? Who's that? What? <laughs> and you know, gee, I wasn't expecting you here though because Neither I wasn't expecting I. me either. Yeah, I mean, it was. It just came as a shock and surprise. Normally, we uh, we have our friend from the school board, the superintendent, coming here. Oh, but that's not until eight o'clock. Mm. Well, that's on Mondays. That's on Mondays. Today's Wednesday. Today's not Monday. Today's Wednesday. Oh, well, that's okay. That's all right. I, I, I forgot how old I was one time, so don't worry about it. See, Taryn Krista is going to be here this morning. Today's Wednesday. She might be knocking at the door, too. Yeah, I don't know. We have a phone call this morning. Hi, you're on the air with Evan and Bonnie and G. Who's this? Your wife. Oh, I'll say hi to my wife. uh, Oh, hey, wife. You sound good on that promo, by the way. That wasn't her. That wasn't her? No. Who was that? That was Robin Tower. Oh, I thought that was... Oh, I okay. Was Remember Megan, Robin Tower from I was, WIRK? I do not. Yes, Robin Tower. I thought that was Megan McRoberts. No. That's, <laughs> oh, wait. Which promo thought, are we talking about? The one that about? just went off. Megan Welcome McRoberts. to the morning show. The one that... The, the one that just, oh, the open to the yeah, show? Yeah. No, that's Robin Tower. That's a good friend of mine. She does voiceovers. Oh, I thought it was Megan McRoberts. No. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Honey, I got to put up with this guy this morning. Oh. So, so I, I like what you I like you're letting Evan grow his hair long, huh? No. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, look at that hair coming from under that hat. That's oh, you going letting your hair grow it's long? It's about the Evan? only place it's going to come from on the sides. There's nothing up top. Oh, okay. Rachel, yeah. do you want him to dye it? Are you going to dye it? For no, him? no, heavens, no, no. Say no. <laughs> Just say no. Why Rachel. would I do that? That's right. That looks good. That gray, yeah. or is that white? What is that? It's white. And gray <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you're right there with me. <laughs> And don't have a problem with it. Hey, Rachel, not, do you not call him the silver fox? Is he oh, like your silver fox? I'm her fox, period. There you go. <laughs> 
I used to call, oh, um, who did I see? Michael McDonald. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, he's definitely there. got it. He's, <laughs> but, Rachel, have, he's you my been, silver fox. have you been loving him not running his mouth for the last two days? He's been a little quiet. <laughs> <laughs> You're not hoping he gets laryngitis again for this, I hope. Oh, heaven forbid, no. 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 No, I was grumpy. And, and it, the, the hard part was, like, he would try to whisper, especially if after I took my hearing aids off, I couldn't hear him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she did that purposely, I think. <laughs> did you try to at least read his lips, or were you just over it? <laughs> well, yesterday, I was over it. <laughs> she has these, like, supercharged hearing aids that she wears that she could be on one side of the house and I could whisper something, yeah. oh, and she'll hear me. The bionic ears. Oh, yeah. She has more than bionic <laughs> ears. Trust me. Well, she can hear the neighbors. What happened was, um, back in August, September, I went to the audiologist, and we've learned that I've lost hearing in both of my ears. Um, in huh? my right ear, I was severe, almost deaf, and in my left ear, I was mild, um, I was moderate, almost severe mm-hmm. in the law, so I had to get hearing aids. Mm. So for like the last 20 years, I couldn't understand why she was ignoring me, and now we finally <laughs> figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear like a lot of ringing in your ears, Rachel? When you... it, 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 Sometimes there would be ringing, but a lot of it is I just couldn't hear, but I had become a master at reading lips or mm-hmm. catching parts of conversations and just smiling and nodding and, you know. Oh, well, they, yeah, they, um, they totally screwed you up once we started wearing masks. Oh, big did. time. <laughs> and that was part of the problem. Um, I was at work, and we were training new staff, myself and the other staff trainer, getting ready for the school year to start. And um, I was doing the technical training, and I was at my desk, and I'm doing stuff. And I guess someone was talking to me, but their back was to me. And the other teacher trainer um, looked at her and goes, Rachel's not being a witch. If she doesn't know you're talking to her, Mm. she can't hear you. If you're not looking at her and she doesn't know it, she can't hear you. Yeah, well, you know what they call that when they're facing backwards, talking at your behind. Uh, Yeah, (laughs) Mm, I hear you. Well, she was asking questions on something I was presenting on the screen on the front of the classroom. Because my desk is in the back of my classroom, and my screen is at the front, so I was projecting from my computer to my screen. Mm-hmm. And that was kind of the catalyst that said, you know what, you need to, especially if you've got these kids coming in, and everyone's going to be wearing masks. And so that's what I I did. Yeah, so now I have to be very careful what I say around the house. Yes, because yeah. she can hear all of oh, it. Oh, she can hear anything, oh, believe yeah. me. Trust me. <laughs> anything. <laughs> you know what I like about uh, wearing the mask, though? Say, like, if you're out in a store, like, in the, you're in a hurry, like, if you're going through the Walmart or somewhere, and yeah. you see somebody that you know, and but you don't have time to slow down and talk to them. Oh, so you, you don't can, have to talk to <laughs> them? Yeah, you just keep walking by. <laughs> and they're not going to recognize you anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, you might be kind of recognizing them because of the, their style of walk or their gait or something, but you can... Just kind of like hide yourself behind so, them. So you can make pretend, oh, I didn't know that was you. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I run out of the store. Exactly. <laughs> All right, darling, have a good day at work. Love you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Oh, you know All who right. did recognize me, though, in Publix two weeks ago in Palm City? It was uh, Jay Spicer. And oh, I, okay. I was even wearing my mask, and I didn't even. But and I come was on now, Bonnie. In uniform. Somebody you know. I don't care whether they have the yeah. mask on or not. I'm gonna know you. All I'm gonna know Evan. All of a sudden, of I course. turn around. I hear a voice. Is that B- the Bonnie Ashley? <laughs> I, I remember <laughs> Bonnie when I was in Walmart a couple about a couple months ago, and I saw you. Yeah. And you had your mask on, and I picked you out just like that. Yeah, you did. You yeah. did right away. He yeah. was like in that um, checkout counter, Self-check own checkout, out. right Self-check next out. to me. I remember the first time I saw someone smile with their mask on, and you couldn't, you can't see the lips, obviously. Yeah, but you see but the you can cheeks see the, eyes. Yeah. the eyes. But the eyes, though. The yeah, eyes squinting. tell it right there. Definitely. Yeah, that's true. Let's get to birthdays and anniversaries back in the day. <laughs> This is the uh, segment where we go through birthdays and anniversaries of people that we don't even recognize their names half the time. Oh, we talked about you doing the, you and Ray doing this I yesterday. Know. That's yeah, right. He that's does right. it to me all the time. I do it to her all the time. Some of these people I don't know. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Bonnie, what do you have for me this morning? Anybody oh, off your Facebook page? Oh, anybody with birthdays? Yeah. Um, happy birthday to Tracy. I know hers is in the month of March. Tracy, right. I, at Massage. She's does she a have really, a phone? She's a really good therapist. Do you know her phone number? No. Uh, I, wait, I have it in my phone. But Do you? 
Can no. we call her? Uh oh. I don't you know. You know me, Bonnie. I'm right. I'm straight there. I guess I, I could get it out if you want to keep going with the segment. I don't yeah, I don't I'll, know I'll if keep, she I'll wants to be going. bothered or anything. Oh, why not? So. She's awake probably at 7.15. Is you know that me. my phone or your phone? Jean? Mine. But okay. you can use mine if you want. No. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Just pick anybody from ah, his contact there, list. There and why would you have up. Tracy's number? <laughs> yeah, that's for a whole other segment. No. Um, anyway, uh, Carrie Underwood is 38 years old today. How about that? We know somebody on the list. How old is Carrie? 38 years old today. You, you know, met her, and Kennedy met her, mm-hmm. and Lenny's daughter met her at Sunfest right when she had, right after she had won Idol. Oh, oh wow. And wow. We, before she had become the Carrie Underwood that we know, very nice girl. She was, nice. well, she wasn't soiled yet by Hollywood and the business. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it was really she cool. She said she was kind of like a tiny little thing, oh, too, she's right? Oh, like she's frail. Under she's still five tiny. foot or something? Oh, I think so. Well, yeah. I don't know about I mean, under five foot, but she's uh, very she's right short. Tiny, yeah. tiny, yeah. 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 Bree Turner, 44 years old today. That's Rosalie on Grimm. Does that name ring a bell, G? Not me. No, I don't know that. Grimm. I don't know who that is. Grimm. That, I, I know it. this that's... next one rings a bell to me. Timbaland, 49 years oh, old yeah. today. You've got the boots, don't you? Yeah, that's right. That's right. You better believe it. <laughs> 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 Did he used to do a uh, song with another country singer? I think it was uh, Tim McGraw in Timbaland. Uh, we used to play a song on the music station. I don't know. Oh, he- no, that was Tim. Mag- uh, it was somebody and Nelly did a country song together. Oh. Well, yeah, Nelly and... Uh, Who was it? Uh, Georgia, Georgia, what's it oh. called? Georgia, Florida Line. Florida, oh, Florida Georgia, Georgia Line. Line. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, John Hamm is 50. He used to be the, uh, the badass Don Draper on Mad Men. Oh, dude, I like me some Don Draper. Yeah. He was cool. Yeah, he was one you know, cool you, you ever notice how, many, how much smoking goes on on that show? Mm-hmm. They smoked everywhere. Oh. oh, really? They smoked in the bank. They smoked in the hospital. They smoked on the plane. Oh, they talk smoked about, in Denny's. Talk so, about shows that smoked. How about Bonanza? They were smoking left and right on Bonanza and some of those old-time TV cowboy shows. Evan, have you noticed lately, like on Netflix at the top, instead of they're going rated R, uh, nudity, uh, whatever, they have the word smoking in it now. Oh, wow. they do? Why? Yeah. Is that offending somebody because somebody's smoking in a movie? So the show that you're talking about, the time frame must be like in the 70s. Oh, and or late, late 60s. Uh, late 60s yeah, when they still they smoked everywhere. Smoked on How about the Wild and... Wild West? Remember that show? I love me some uh, oh, Artemis. Artemis. What, what was Artemis? Show. The 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 king of uh, disguises. Oh, and James West man. wasn't James. The, oh, James West. He was he was one. Those bad dudes mother. were styling, dude. That yeah. was the cool. That was the, the coolest cow yeah, western on TV. Day. That's way before your time. Cooler than Gunsmoke because oh, yeah. there's nothing yeah. cooler well, Gunsmoke than was, Gunsmoke. Gunsmoke was cool, but Wild Wild West. I used yeah. to yeah. live for watching. Really? Um, I used to live for watching Wild Wild West, and the way they had that set up is they had like four blocks, and they would reveal each block and each segment mm-hmm. yeah. for what was going on. Yeah, they, and the cartoon style. They would yeah. end with like a, they oh. would turn. Into a, yeah. mm-hmm. It was like a big production for back in the day, right? Yeah. Like, they the had a cool frame. train, too. Oh, really? man. That train, that train was, really was cool. awesome. Ooh. Yeah, definitely so. Yeah. Nina Cherry, 57 years old today. Uh, hit song was Buffalo Stance. Mm. Jasmine Guy is 59. That's Whitley on A Different World. With that Southern accent. That's right. Sharon Stone, 63 years old today. And speaking of Sharon, Sharon Tweed. Bonnie, you know who that is? Sharon. I know Sharon, Sharon Tweed. Stone, but not... The Sharon Tweed, Tweed is 64 years old today. That is Jean Simmons' lovely wife. Oh, no kidding. She's also known as a softcore queen. She's from, like, Jersey or something, yeah, isn't she? Exactly. East Coast, New York, because mm-hmm. remember their Jean reality? Jean Simmons of Kiss? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. They had a reality show, and I think their big man- their mansion or their big home was, like, in upstate New York or mm-hmm. somewhere. Mm-hmm. You were mentioning that. What, what, did, you, what did you insure? You, you said, what did I we, heard oh, you this morning. My hands. Gene has his tongue insured. Just yeah, his, t- <laughs> his tongue is literally, it is li- legit real deal. His tongue is insured. Yeah. Yeah, he has an insurance policy through Lloyd's of London. So there you go. We can't go piercing his tongue or anything no. then. It I may guess. be pierced, but it's still insured. <laughs> God. His wife's a wow. very happy camper. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, let's go to Chuck Norris, is 81 years old today. Wow, Chuck Norris. 81. Oh. 81. Yeah. Wait a minute, Chuck Norris. That's yeah. uh, 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 from... Uh, oh, what, from He's the, the Marx, Marxist. The oh, What was the show, Evan? I um, don't know. You I know just Chuck read Norris. what's on the sheet I, here. You know, I'm thinking the rifle man, but no, not him. The one that... The, um, uh, Texas Ranger. Yeah, there the, you he's go. He's a walker. A walker, walker. A walker TA or yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah, that's it. That's it, bro. You nailed it. Yeah. 
Uh, today is National Pack Your Lunch Day. Uh, Bonnie, did you do that? Brown bagging it, baby. Did you bring your lunch? Did Sometimes you brown bag I do, it? just not today. But... I pack my breakfast. It's right back there in that little portable cooler. Oh, oh yeah, don't what, you what even you think about there? touching it? Begs and eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I have a begs and eggs sandwich. Got in there? No, I oh. already had my yogurt. This He's morning. gonna be scrap- <laughs> like <laughs> sniffing that out, man. You know, Bonnie and I were talking about that. Next time she goes on vacation, I'm gonna be coming up to. Um, uh, beautiful Fort Pierce. Fort Pierce. Yes, lovely uh, area, Fort Pierce up there where you guys are. Mm-hmm. And could you imagine me, you, and Ray in one room for three hours? That's too, too many old people in uh, the same all building. All week, just thank you, five days in a row. <laughs> That's over 180 years of broadcast. When is that going to happen? I don't well, know. I don't know, whenever she decides I'm, to go. I'm planning, I don't know yet. I don't know if I want to go um, there or Wisconsin yet, so I'm not even sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. That's going to be interesting, though. Yeah, definitely so. Uh, 721 right now on a blended show this morning, WSTU and WPSL. It's time for news. Let's go to the news desk, and Bonnie has the headlines. Good morning, Bonnie. Good morning, Evan. Governor Ron DeSantis checked out a CVS pharmacy in Lehigh Acres in southwest Florida yesterday as he touted his success in putting seniors 65-plus to the front of the vaccine line. He says the number of seniors getting the virus is going down by the day. If you go back two months and saw what percentage of cases on a given day were seniors in Florida, it was, I think, about 18 percent. Now it's typically uh, less than that. It's typically 12, 13, 14 percent. Though 60 plus can begin getting the vaccine starting Monday. A Florida high-speed rail line faces a lawsuit from Richard Branson's Virgin Group. Joel Melkin reports. Right line trains have been sidelined for about a year due to the pandemic. With plans to get back on track later this year, trains running from West Palm Beach to Miami and were continuing to expand the service to Orlando. From 2018 until last summer, it was known as Virgin Trains USA, but Brightline pulled out of that marketing partnership. That brought about a hefty suit from Virgin, which is now before London court. Branson's company is asking for more than $250 million in damages, claiming under the terms of the licensing deal, the rail line was unable to drop the Virgin name until 2023. Virgin wants royalties and an early termination fee. I'm Joel Malkin. 400 Florida manatees have died during the first two months of the year, triple the usual number. Wildlife officials blame the disappearance of seagrass in the Indian River Lagoon in Brevard County due to poor water quality. Sea cows dine on seagrass. An Iowa journalist recounted getting pepper sprayed and arrested while covering a protest for racial justice last year, testifying in her own defense at her widely watched trial on charges stemming from the incident. Des Moines Register reporter Andrea Sahori told jurors she was running away from a scene where riot police had shot tear gas to disperse protesters outside a mall in Des Moines, Iowa. She she said that after she rounded the corner of a Verizon store, she saw an officer charging at her and and she put her hands up and she said she was press. Uh, she said she was grabbed, pepper sprayed, and arrested anyway. On the second day of trial, Sahori told jurors that she thought she was going to go blind after being pepper sprayed, which was extremely painful, the Associated Press reported. Sahori and her former boyfriend are charged with failure to disperse and interference with official acts. Jurors are expected to begin deliberations on Wednesday. Roger Mudd, the longtime CBS News correspondent and anchor who later teamed briefly with Tom Brokaw on NBC Nightly News, has died. He was 93. Mudd died Tuesday of kidney failure at his home in McLean, Virginia, according to CBS News. With a to-the-point style, Mudd was a familiar face for decades on network TV, starting on CBS in the early 1960s as he reported on Congress, politics, and government he became a star correspondent and filled in for Walter Conkrite, Conkrite in the anchor chair in the late 1960s and early 1970s and on the weekend CBS Evening News broadcasts. Lastly, here's another story about kids helping seniors get the vaccine. A 12-year-old in New York named Sam Kush started a site last month called VaccineHelper.com, and it's already helped over 1,800 people get appointments. (laughs) 
The Miami Heat said on Tuesday night that center Myers Leonard will be away from the team indefinitely, sharply criticizing his use of an anti-Semitic slur while playing a video game that was being live streamed. Leonard acknowledged that he used the term Monday and said he did not know what it meant at that time. An NBA spokesman said the league unequivocally condemns all forms of hate speech. We have 725 our news time and we'll have weather and traffic together next. This will be another El Nino year, although a weaker one. So if you incurred roof damage in the last two years, Code Red Roofers is there to help you with all of your roofing needs. Code Red Roofers, the roofers who respond 24-7. And there are flexible payment options for metal, tile, shingle, or flat roofs. Code Red Roofers, say habla espanol. Code Red Roofers, 844-4-CODE-RED. That's 844-4-CODE-RED. Seven twenty-six. the time. It's time for traffic and weather together, all brought to you by Code Red Roofers. Bonnie? Well, we are reporting on two accidents right now, both in Martin and St. Lucie County. There are accidents on the turnpike. Uh, we have one right here in Hope Sound. It's the turnpike southbound at mile marker 124, and the right lane is blocked. So use caution right there. And to the north of us this morning, up in Vero Beach on the Turnpike northbound at mile marker 188, a vehicle crash with injuries and two up that way. The right lane is blocked, so you're going to see a little bit of traffic slowdown this morning in both areas. There's your latest look at traffic. It's 65 in Port St. Lucie, and in Mankato, Minnesota, they're having a mild day for them, 43 and cloudy. Here's our weather at WPTV. Happy Wednesday, sunshines. This morning along the Treasure Coast, breezy winds and cool temperatures. Morning lows in the low to mid-60s under partly cloudy skies. This afternoon, a touch warmer than yesterday. Highs in the mid-70s, a mix of sun and clouds, and a slim chance for a stray, fast-moving shower. Tomorrow through Friday, similar weather. Highs in the mid to upper 70s, breezy winds and low rain chances. Over the weekend, highs in the low 80s, plenty of sunshine, and our winds calming down. I'm WPTV First Alert Meteorologist Katya Hall on WSTUAM 1450, Martin County's Heritage Station. Unfortunately, in today's litigious society, too many Americans fail to have an effective estate plan and asset protection strategy. I'm attorney TJ Heineman, and I've been counseling families, businesses, and executives for 20 years. I can help you preserve your wealth, safeguard your assets, and protect your family. My law firm specializes in estate planning and administration, asset protection, corporate law, and real estate. For a free copy of my family estate planning survival guide or a free consultation in my Palm City office, call me, TJ Heineman, at 888-5667. Just imagine. Imagine finding a doctor who listens. Imagine a doctor who cares, who takes time to understand you and your lifestyle better. Imagine an entire care team dedicating to helping you live your best life. You don't have to imagine. WellMed is redefining aging with our unique approach to care designed by physicians to help you stay as healthy as possible. Learn more about our recognized model of care at discoverwellmed.com. At TMI & Associates, they've been helping individuals and business owners for over 36 years. If you own a business, find out how you can increase your cash flow by over $100,000 with just a 15-minute evaluation. And individuals, get a no-cost analysis of your last two years of returns to see if you can save even more. So whether it's payroll, bookkeeping, or individual needs, TMI has you covered. So give them a call, 772-971-5852. Don't sweat in your boxers. Call the AC Doctors at 344-3944. York, install confidence. Contact the AC Doctors, acdoctorsinc.com. If you have a suggestion for the show, we would love to hear from you. Send us an email to wstumorningshow at gmail.com. Now let's get back to the Get Up and Go Show. Here's Evan and Bonnie. This is not headline news. 
Chuck Norris turns 81 today. Watch for him in his new show, Needs a Walker, Texas Ranger. Miley Cyrus says playing Hannah Montana gave her an identity crisis. And based on what we've seen, all of those identities hate wearing a bra. <laughs> Justin Bieber says he overlooked women's issues in the past. However, not women's eyeliner. In sports, Camden Yards in Baltimore will be allowed to hold games with 50% capacity. They'll have a coin flip to see if both Orioles fans want to attend. <laughs> and Home Depot is adding more than 3,000 jobs in the L.A. area. Do they pay more than Subway? Asked a curious Scott Bayo. This is not Headline News. And from not Headline News, we go to Stupid News. And now it's time for Stupid News. It's so stupid and awesome. Where we ask the important questions. Are some people too stupid to live? Why are people so stupid? Are you effing stupid? So now we, uh, gee, we, we're going to go to North Carolina. All right where there's some headlines about a North Carolina woman that was hospitalized with serious life-threatening injuries after she was nearly dragged 1,200 feet when she attempted to exit a vehicle and dance. <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> e- exit a vehicle and dance, G. She just got out of the vehicle and just started dancing. Just started dancing. Now, the incident took place in Raleigh, North Carolina, about 2.30 in the morning this past Saturday, and according to cops... The woman exited a 2018 Honda and began dancing, but became tangled in the car seat's seatbelt. In a car seat seatbelt. Think about that one. A car seat seatbelt. Now, as the light turned green, the rear left passenger exited and began dancing next to the vehicle. This passenger became tangled in the seatbelt as the vehicle began to drive away. The passenger was dragged about 1,185 feet. Now, I'd like to know how they calculated 1,185 feet. Uh, Before the driver was made aware of the situation, five people, including the woman, were in the car at the time of the incident, and police did not indicate why the woman decided to get out of the vehicle besides dance. Mm, She was on something. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, and you might. She was on the road trying to dance. (laughs) You might want to check out the people that are in your vehicle, riding along with you in your Mm. vehicle, to see if they're mentally stable and and not going to do that sort of thing. Yeah, but my question is, why did she get tangled up in the car seat's seatbelt? Think about that. It's not the seatbelt of the car, but it was the car seat's seatbelt. So there was a car seat in there for a child. And she went to get out, and she got tangled up in the car seat seatbelt. I wonder if she's trying to sit in the car seat. (laughs) (laughs) Um, An ex-con is back behind bars after she allegedly struck her male roommate in the face with a Paris cat. (laughs) <laughs> she struck. I shouldn't be laughing at that because it sounds like she took a poor kitty, right, to strike somebody in the f- a live kitty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Poli- I don't like that. Police say that Wendy Heard, who's fifty six years old, and her seventy three year old victim were involved in a verbal argument late Sunday evening in their Largo, Florida home. Now the assailant, police said, took their cat and threw it on the victim's face, causing the cat to scratch the victim's face. Mm. She then followed up the feline attack by striking the man in the face, and she was eventually arrested. You know, just the thought of that, of a cat, a scared, rampant cat in in your face and mm-hmm. scratching it, doesn't mm-hmm. that just, can't you just feel it right now? That's just Have like nails on a chalkboard. S- been scratched like by no. a cat no i've never owned a cat it's, never it's been it's not fun no. and yet alone have you? to have those scratch marks in your face have oh, you been scratched oh. by your cats oh yeah Did kitties you? get really sharp claws okay and when they claw you it, it's not it's worse than a like a bee sting it's amazing i feel like i'm on a rocking cruise ship right now because <laughs> the way the g is going left and right oh, and are left. you are you seeing that out of your peripheral yes i'm seeing that out of my peripheral <laughs> That might be driving somebody crazy on Facebook. You guys are on Facebook. (laughs) Yes, we are. It's probably driving somebody crazy. Wait, wait, let me see. Yeah, there it is right there. rolling over there. See, there there you are right there there on our Facebook page. At least I got a rhythm going there. I know, right? (laughs) Maybe we should play DeBarge, Rhythm of the Night. Who knows? Or Walking in Rhythm. Right. Oh, that's by the Blackbirds. Yeah. Yes, I remember that song. That was one of my favorite songs from back in the day. Yeah, mine too. Did we play that on P.O.M.? 
back oh, in the day. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, oh. that was a great tune. Yeah. That's back when we were playing plastic on the platter. You better believe it. Plastic the on the platter. wax of stack. No, the oh, stacks man. of wax. Stacks of wax. <laughs> you had that set up so organized Evan back in the, the day. Mick, 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 man, Mick, G Mick used to have, master. He used to have these set He used to have everything set up with the, with the vinyl. One shelf would be current hits. Mm-hmm. Another shelf would be recurring hits. And you pull from the front. And then when you play the record, you yeah. put it in the back. Ooh, that and God like help you if you put it back in the front again. Oh, well, he there, would rip there you There was a, new a method one. to the madness. You know, you yeah. were ahead of your day then. I mean, well, no, that's how they did it. You, oh, you had really? To, yeah. you, you had to do it that way. Yeah, okay. the music log was color coded too. Okay. Well, yeah, I get it confused because I started out at a. Uh, not a country state. Well, yeah, no, I got a country station as my start, but my second station was p- just playing oldies, mm-hmm. and there was no method to that. You could just pull. When I was working at night, I could just pull any record that I wanted mm-hmm. and see, play what that, I feel. Yeah, in those days of radio, that's when, uh, yeah, because and the ratings were all over the place because this <laughs> DJ played what they wanted, the other yeah. DJ played. Right. You know, we actually put uh, little circles, little dots. Yes, on, I remember on the color albums. Dots. Yes, so that you couldn't play a certain cut. Yes, and then he had a she- yeah. he had a sheet. <laughs> <laughs> he, because he, he guys had, want to play what they want to play. So if you got yeah. a dot on it, the, the needle's yeah. not going to play. Or yeah. everybody, of course, would come in and want to play that long song, like American Pie. And mm. that song yeah, could that, be played that was the every night. Break song. Yeah, of course. That, so you that was the bathroom heaven. break song. Just go and hang out for a little bit. A Sweet Home Alabama, Free Bird. I mean, we could Free just Bird! Go, we could just go on and on. On and on. A mom of three has jokingly threatened to sell her kids on eBay. Oh, boy. Oh. What, yeah. jokingly? Yeah, jokingly threatened to sell her kids on eBay after she entered her living room to find they had done a spot of redecorating using a large tub of talcum powder. Lady's name is Christina Milford Scott, said that she had already prepared herself for a day of chaos to mark her youngest daughter Kaylee's first birthday, but didn't think her brand new $3,000 sofa would end up falling victim to the excitement. The 23-year-old left her eldest children, Bronwyn 4 and Soren 2, to play in the living room while she attempted to get work done in the other room. But it wasn't long before that that the duo wandered in looking like white ghosts. <laughs> uh, the lady braced herself for what they thought was going on, and she walked into the other room, and voila, there was talcum powder <laughs> from wall to wall <laughs> everywhere. Of course there was. <laughs> Man, oh man, oh man. You're going to have that with little, little bitty ones sometime. Yeah. You're just going to have that. Yeah, yeah. Has Jaden and Topang ever done anything mischief before? Oh. That they that you didn't know about until you walked into the room? Yeah, I'm, you know, yeah, like I'm, I'm sure they have in the past. Mm-hmm. Um, I I don't have a big memory of them, but I remember when we were kids. Right. Uh, me and my cousin Cindy, we got into my grandma's bathroom and we smeared her lipstick all over each other's face. Oh my gosh. We made like clown faces on one we began with little clown faces. Mm-hmm. We're gonna tr- we're gonna draw. Wow. And you get two little girls going back and forth with that lipstick and pretty soon it's like all over the place. <laughs> oh my gosh. Gee, what about you and your kids? Oh man, there's probably a whole bunch of but I don't think they were they were they weren't worse than me. No. I mean the stuff that we did. Oh, oh. man, I, I remember taking um, Papa Bell's truck and take, he had a farm, taking this truck and driving it out in the field and everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, my cousin was driving at this one particular point, crashed into the pig pen, oh. and we put the car, we put the truck back in the garage like nothing even happened. <laughs> Never said a word. <laughs> Papa Bell to this day, God rest his soul. He don't know we, how we, I, I, I guess he probably saw the dent in his truck, but I guess he didn't know oh who to ask. Lord. We did all wow. kinds of stupid Whoa. stuff, Ray. I, I, mean, I know you weren't. Come on now, Evan. You I weren't was no, no angel. All right. I was, I'll tell you a funny story. Um, I was, uh, let me think how old I was. I think I was, I think I was about 12 years old, 13 years old. And my dad back in the day, I've told you this story, Bonnie. Mm-hmm. My dad used to work for a, a beer company. Uh, it was Ballantine and Wrangled. That was the beer of the Mets in New York. No, I'm sorry. I was nine years old. And we were living in New York, and you know, back in the day, my my dad used to go to all the games before I was born. He met a lot of prominent people, this, that, and the other. So he had this baseball that was autographed by the last year that Babe Ruth played for the Yankees, mm-hmm. and it had Babe Ruth's signature on it, along with some of the others that were from back in the day. Well. Me and my infinite wisdom, I wanted to go outside and play baseball with my friends. Oh, boy. So I was looking. Yeah. Oh, Here yeah. we go. Yeah. So I was looking for a baseball, and I went into this thing that's called a break front. Any old ball will do. Yeah. yeah. So I went into this break front, and here was this baseball that had a bunch of scribbling on it. 
in a beer stein cup, mm-hmm. sitting in the beer stein cup. Now, I had no idea well, what yeah, I was doing. I, I can appreciate that. Okay, so I went and I got the ball and I went outside and I played and put it back. And a couple months later, my dad says to me, um, I hear this very stern voice, Evan, come here. Just like that. I was an only kid, by the way. No brothers or sisters. And I'm like, yeah, Dad? He goes, um, did you take this baseball? And I'm like, uh, yeah, I went outside and played with it. Why? And, oh, let me tell you something. Man, <laughs> the belt came off his waist quicker than you could say one. Oh, heck and yeah. my arse was beat so bad. Oh, man. I couldn't sit for days. To find out oh. today what that ball would be worth, mm-hmm. it's, it's, I, I want to cry. Now, where is this ball? It's nowhere to be found. Okay. Yeah, it's history. Wow. It's 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 useless, Are you worthless. Saying just because it was used once. Well, it was used yeah, more than it once. Was it, it, up. Well, oh. because, well, it was used prior to him getting it signed too, right? Well, by the baseball. It was, it, was by a, the... it was a game. No, it wasn't. It was a brand new ball. But oh, then, over the years, okay. it had yellowed, but it still had all the signatures on it. So I took it outside. It got all scuffed up, mm. and then when I came back in. Um, I put it back where I got it from because I was always taught that when you borrow something from somebody, you well, give sure. it back and you put it back. But, Evan, I'd have had to flip that whole situation. I'd have had to flip it and go, well, yeah, it's got a scuff on it because Babe Ruth hit it. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, come on now. I mean, it's, yeah. I was nine years old, <laughs> for God's sake. No, like, I'm, I'm really saying your dad. Smart. I'm saying your dad could have played it off that way yeah. as far mm-hmm. as this ball is worth more yeah. because it was actually used in the game. Yeah. But before he brought out his belt and everything, did you? <laughs> did, now I feel <laughs> sorry about thing, that. Did, I got my arse beat, let did, me tell you. Did he inform you, though, before that, that prior gonna, that you weren't supposed to touch that oh, ball? Oh, I thought you were tell, you know? asking me if he'd inform me he was going to whip me with the belt. No, but Bend over. I'm about to whoop your behind. Were you aware not to touch this ball? I didn't even no. know it was in there. Yeah. No, he didn't warn me. No. He didn't oh. tell me nothing. So you didn't know then? No, no because know. I was... But that I was, still didn't stop his, him from getting an arse no. beaten. No, because <laughs> I, I was the type of child that... It, there's an old expression, expression we used to use that our parents used to use. You have to look and see where the feet grow, mm. um. where things originate from. So if my father would have told me that that ball was in there, curiosity, of course, wants me to go play with the ball yeah, or find the ball and, and see what this is all about. So he didn't tell me anything. So I was looking yeah, for a was, baseball. That's his fault. Yeah. And I was, I was looking in every nook and cranny to find a baseball and I opened up the door and there's a ball. Just like Bonnie said, any old ball will do. Any old ball will do. <laughs> <laughs> and boy, let me tell you, any old ball will do. All right. That's mm-hmm. for damn sure. And any old belt will do. Yeah. too. Just, <laughs> and boy, back, <laughs> back in the day, the belts back in the day. Oh, yeah. They were oh, wide, yeah. man. They were like real that leather. Wide, and the leather was like, forget it. No, we got switches. We didn't do the belt thing. No. Go you got me, what? Go get me a switch. A switch. switch. We'd go. You don't know what a switch no, is. No, what's a switch? You go out and you pull a a, a limb off of a tree. Oh, oh you got the a branch. Tree limb. And, oh, you uh, got the branch on the butt. Like, oh, don't, yeah. Sting what like, are you talking about? Oh, Them things, boy. Mm-mm. Oh, dude. Mm. And when you had to pick wow. your own out, that was like even like. Let's see. Let me oh get wait, a, you had to let, pick your poison. Let me go get a small one. Oh no, don't ever do that. <laughs> That's oh. the worst mistake you could make is bringing this little small Whoa. switch back Whoa. to get your butt beat with. Oh, you boy. had to pick your poison to get your butt beat. I remember one time my mom braided three of them together. Oh! Oh, oh my and they were And that left the ends like this. Oh, what, oh. Did, what did you do to deserve that? All kinds that? of stuff. Did everything. Yeah. Did the, the normal stuff that kids do. Now, going back outside and play. And then all yeah. the kids would laugh at you because they see the marks on your leg. <laughs> oh, you got your butt beat. You well, got how your about, butt beat. How about back at, where did you go to middle school at? Where did you uh, did you I, go down here? It, it was up north. They called it the junior high. Okay, so, <laughs> well, we called it middle school. But anyway, I remember middle school. I would get in trouble in middle school, and I go to the dean's office, mm-hmm. drop your George, getting three wax, mm-hmm. just like that. Yeah. And that, even back in then, regular they could school, do it. yeah, in regular school, I yeah. got that in Catholic school. Oh but yeah, it was we no... got it down here. We had a shop teacher that would give us the paddle, the oh, wooden yeah. paddle. Oh, I got beat with a wiffle bat. Oh, you oh, that's did? nothing oh. compared to a paddle. That would the stay paddle though. we got whipped with in middle school was like that wide. That tall, and the handle was about. And you this actually big. dropped your drawers. Yeah, you had to. You had to drop. You had to drop your drawers down right below your butt cheeks. Mm-hmm. Man, that's keep, brutal. You keep your underwear on, but you drop your pants. Mm-hmm. And no, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. No, you didn't. Um, you didn't have to drop your drawers. You you bent over. You held the chair. Yeah. And the paddle, it had holes drilled in it about that big mm-hmm. for aerodynamic purposes. 
I'm dead serious. And, it, and the dean's name was Dean Brown. I'll never forget it. And I had to get three wax. And it wasn't just one and then let your butt cool right, off. Right. It was bam, bam, bam. Picture this. Go ahead. Sister Regina Raymond. Oh, jeez. And your face between this. Oh, no. I what? mean, your yeah. face between that. Really? Between so long after a while, you don't feel it. Oh, God. Your face is yeah. numb. At yeah. I had a nun throw, I saw a nun throw a metal ruler <gasps> at a kid, missed him, oh my stuck God. in the blackboard doing this. Oh, oh. my gosh. <laughs> wow. You don't forget that to this no, day, do I, you? No, I remember that like it happened yesterday. That's like throwing a tomahawk at a wood, at I know. A wood block. She missed him, and it hit the blackboard, and Whoa. it stayed in there flipping around. Oh, like that. I'm Lord. Like, Whoa. We had a music teacher that had a kid do the a weird one, but... Um, it hurt his arm by the end of the hour. He mm -hmm. had to like stick his forearm arm out uh, with this side up like I'm doing now and just hit his arm mm. with his two fingers mm -hmm. for the entire hour. But you know what? Oh. Whatever they, oh. W when they did that to us, we didn't do that same thing that we got in trouble for again. No. Uh, Evan. Oh, no, we didn't. For some reason, yeah. we didn't no. try that again. <laughs> <laughs> they called that, I think, um, down here in Florida, it was called corporal punishment. That's when it was legal that the teacher could whack, well, or I'm sorry, the dean could whack the child. My parents signed off on it, though. There was something, there, there was some kind of a, 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 a consent thing. Oh, because okay. they, they mm -hmm. sent something home, and they, we need to discipline your child. And I'm like, y'all signed that? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> and then you'd get it when you got home, too. Oh, yeah, yeah it was like twice as much. Mm -hmm. And believe me, I'd go home. And I'd be walking funny, and my dad would be like, <laughs> um, you know, what's going on? Why are you walking funny? I'm like, oh, I just pulled a muscle yeah. today. You know, I'm hurting but a little Evan, bit. But Evan, Evan, can't, can't, I mean, uh, people might see that today as child abuse or yeah. whatever. Well, I mean, they don't do, do that no more. No, but, uh, I mean, tell, I, I needed all that. We used to go home yeah, with so our hand I. cramped. Out of trouble. You and I both. We'd I go home it. with our hand cramped sometime, too. I will not do this in class anymore. Oh, those writing, I will assi not do uh, those writing, class those anymore. writing assignments? Yeah. I used to you get those where hands. you have to write like 500 times. I will not do blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So I, I thought I cheated the system where I would go down and write I, 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 and then will, oh, will, 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 wow. will, not, 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 not <laughs> like that. Well, that didn't work too well because yeah. it all lined up too perfect, so they made me do it all over they again. They found out you were cheating. Yeah. But, <laughs> but you know what, Evan? In our day, there was no such thing as time out. No. But in my kid's day, yeah. Time out was invented, and yeah. I thought that was just a bunch of crap. Yeah, but yeah. it worked on Patrick. Oh, oh I, yeah, I swear to God, man, put him in a corner yeah. mm -hmm. and not let him do nothing. Oh yeah, I don't care what you did, spanking, none of that worked. But Time Out did. I'm like, I became a believer in Time Out. Well, Time Out was good in our house, <laughs> but the kids learned how to fool the Time Out. Okay, so what what we did was now is like when Gavin would get in trouble or something like that, I would take his video game controllers and block him up in the safe. Mm. Can't play the game yeah. without the controller. Right. That was worse than Time Out. And Gary just has Alexa play Barry Manilow over and over and oh, over again really brutal. loud. I write the songs yeah. over oh, and over. Oh, Mandy. Oh, Mandy, that's another but one. But you know what, though, Evan? In our day, too, uh -huh. uh, they would send us to our room. Yeah. yeah. That don't work now. No. Send a kid to no. their room. You go they right got, out the window. They, well, no, not that. They got every gadget in the room that they're oh, going yeah. to be in. They're going to be in no. heaven. Oh, thank you for sending me to <laughs> yeah. my room. You got to send them to the room and have them clean it and say no gadgets turned on. Mm, yeah. well, you yeah. got to set that fire. I make mine clean the bathroom. That's enough punishment. <laughs> Clean the bathroom. It's time to clean the bathroom. You're in trouble. Especially after you go in it, Evan. Oh, please. <laughs> oh, 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 Lord. Oh, boy. Yeah, well, we don't want to hear this. Mm. Yeah. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. All right, it's time for news 748, all brought to you on The Blended Show this morning by St. Lucie Jewelry and Coin. Make sure and go visit our good friend, Hawk Levy for the best deals in town at St. Lucie Jewelry and Coin. Bonnie has the headlines. Good morning, Bonnie. Good morning, Evan. The newest high school set to open this fall held an information session for prospective families on Tuesday night. WT... PTV's Derek Lowe has details. This is our opportunity to start her own fresh foundation, fresh new ground, being a part of history, change. Scheduled to open to 600 students this fall. It's so exciting to just watch the, the building get built behind us and to see the excitement on all these kids' faces as they come through. Tradition Prep High School in Port St. Lucie will be unique in that students will help set the tone for their education. 
Our kids are so smart and if we give them the opportunity to be innovative and to create, they can they know that they have great ideas. The tuition free charter school will use an educational model they refer to as WISH. It stands for Wellness, Innovation, Science and Health. We're going to build out our Health Science Academy, then our Computer Science Academy, um, and then probably engineering after that. The hope is to expose students to opportunities at facilities like the Cleveland Clinic. I think it's important that we we put that into our curriculum. And to produce a workforce that can supply the growing demand. We do have a set standard curriculum with testing and things like that, but we're not teaching our kids the problem skills, the life skills. Partnering with different medical facilities in the community so our students have opportunities to do internships and, and um, really kind of get exposed to different career opportunities. In Port St. Lucie, I'm Derek Lowe, WPTV News Channel 5. Governor Ron DeSantis checked out a CVS pharmacy in Lehigh Acres in southwest Florida yesterday as he touted his success in putting seniors 65-plus to the front of the vaccine line. He says the number of seniors getting the va virus is going down by the day. If you go back two months and saw what percentage of cases on a given day were seniors in Florida, it was, I think, about 18 percent. Now it's typically... Uh, less than that. It's typically 12, 13, 14 percent. A Florida congressman is joining the fight to hashtag Free Britney. U.S. Representative Matt Gates of Florida wrote a letter to House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jerry Nadler, New York, on Monday asking for a hearing on court-ordered conservative ships that was the subject of a recent Britney Spears documentary. In recent years, there has been growing public concern about the use of conservatorships to effectively deprive individuals of personal freedoms at the be chest of others through the manipulation of the courts, Getz wrote. He cited the situation with Spears in a California court as the most striking example. The letter, which was co-authored by U.S. Representative Jim Jordan of Ohio, calls into question the motives and legal tactics of Spears' father and co-conservator Jamie Spears, which was highlighted in the New York Times documentary Framing Britney Spears. And lastly, Oprah Winfrey's explosive interview with Prince Harry and Meghan reached an estimated 17.1 million viewers in the U.S. on Sunday. That's according to a preliminary numbers from the Nielsen Company. Winfrey guided the two as they discussed racism and dysfunction inside the royal family in a two-hour special on CBS. CBS gave the interview a good time slot following the popular news magazine 60 Minutes. In an era when many people are making their own TV schedules, reaching that kind of live audiences is unusual now unless it's a big sporting event. Nielsen said it had the largest audience for any primetime entertainment special so far this television season. the Major League Baseball spring action from last night. The New York Mets take a win, 5-3 to three over the Cardinals. Washington Nationals, a tie with Houston that was 4-all. The Chicago Cubs win by one run over Oakland yesterday. The Phillies losing to Toronto Blue Jays. Detroit Tigers, 8-5 to five over the New York Yankees. And the Boston Red Sox lost to the Tampa Bay Rays. That score was 11-3. News time is 7.53. We'll have weather and traffic together next. The first time I stepped into St. Lucie Jewelry and Coins, I figured it would just be one of my many stops on my road to the perfect engagement ring. My fiancé means the world to me, so I wanted something extra special. I found a huge selection of engagement rings at great prices, and my worry about finding the perfect engagement ring was quickly replaced with exceptional customer service. St. Lucie Jewelry's over 400 five-star reviews really told the story. I finally picked a ring, and it was perfect. She was floored, and then the tears came. Hi. This is Hawk Levy, owner of St. Lucie Jewelry and Coins. We're now celebrating 26 years. Voted best diamond dealers, best jewelry buyers, and best jeweler year after year. Come celebrate with us in opening our third location at 1335 St. Lucie West Boulevard next to Publix. We invite you to take a tour of our competition, but then come see us last. <laughs> Thank you. 
7.54 the time on a blended show this morning. WSTU and WPSL, it's time for traffic and weather together. All brought to you by Waterway Dermatology. Dr. Ryan Schuring, located at 1050 Monterey Road in Stewart, bringing personalized health care back to dermatology, the Waterway. Bonnie? Well, we've been following two accidents this morning, and both are on the turnpike. In Vero Beach on the turnpike northbound at mile marker 188, there is an accident. The right lane is blocked up in that direction on the turnpike this morning. And we were also looking in a, at an accident on the turnpike. This was in Hope Sound. It's southbound, mile marker 124 in Hope Sound on the turnpike where the right lane is blocked southbound this morning. And there's your latest look at traffic. It's 67 in Port St. Lucie into Potslin, Mexico. A clear sky in 54. Here's our weather at WPTV. Happy Wednesday, sunshines. This morning along the Treasure Coast, breezy winds and cool temperatures. Morning lows in the low to mid 60s under partly cloudy skies. This afternoon, a touch warmer than yesterday. Highs in the mid 70s, a mix of sun and clouds, and a slim chance for a stray, fast moving shower. Tomorrow through Friday, similar weather, highs in the mid to upper 70s, breezy winds and low rain chances. Over the weekend, highs in the low 80s, plenty of sunshine and our winds calming down. I'm WPTV First Alert Meteorologist Katya Hall on WSTUAM 1450 Martin County's Heritage Station. Dermatology is now open in Stewart, a new independently owned dermatology practice with Dr. Ryan Shuring, board certified for your medical or cosmetic skin care needs. Office hours 9 to 5 Monday through Saturday with extended hours from 9 to 7 on Thursdays. Serving Martin and St. Lucie counties in the Monterey Triangle Building, US 1 and Monterey Road, Stewart Waterway Dermatology, bringing personalized health care back to dermatology the waterway. Book a consultation at waterwayderm.com or call 561-926-6150 for Waterway Dermatology. Just imagine. Imagine finding a doctor who listens. Imagine a doctor who cares, who takes time to understand you and your lifestyle better. Imagine an entire care team dedicated to helping you live your best life. You don't have to imagine. WellMed is redefining aging with our unique approach to care designed by physicians to help you stay as healthy as possible. Learn more about our recognized model of care at discoverwellmed.com. Today's to-do list, stop and get coffee, go to work, swing by the grocery store, eat dinner, go to sleep, get up, do it all over again. Seacoast believes spending time with your loved ones should be on your everyday to-do list. Seacoast Air Conditioning, family owned and operated for over 38 years, knows the importance of family. Whether it's reading a bedtime story, sharing your day around the dinner table, or just picking up the phone and calling mom. These are the moments that are remembered for a lifetime. Comfort crisis, don't roast, call Seacoast. Hi, Dan Amix here with Hillmore Optical. We have opened our office at a reduced capacity. We will continue to do eye exams, contact lenses, eyeglasses, and any repairs that you may need. We do ask that you wear a mask when you enter the office, as we are working very hard to keep everything clean and sanitized. We appreciate your patience during this long period and look forward to seeing you. You're listening to the biggest little radio show on the biggest little planet, the Get Up and Go Show with Evan and Bonnie. And thank you very much, Mr. Announcer. Hey, uh, G, can you name that uh, voice, by the way, that just uh, aired? The Mighty Michael Midnight Madness. That's him. You better believe <laughs> I it. I got one right today. Wow. That's right. That's Mighty Mike, our good friend Mighty Mike. That's a good memory. That's yeah, without very a good. Oh, heck, we go back... 1929. I mean, oh, hey, well, we've not known, that far. We've Come known on. each other forever. Yeah, y'all went to different schools together. 1829, and uh, some of us back to 1729. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're going to step back for a moment, uh, take a short pause for the cause, as they say. Taryn Chris, the Martin County Administrator, she's going to be here a little bit after 8 o'clock right here at WSTU Stewart. Martin County's Heritage Station, WPSL Port St. Lucie, the talk of the Treasure Coast. We'll be back. In the meantime, enjoy Fredo and the Shy Guys in our band.
Biden can't wait to sign it. I'm Dave Anthony, Fox News. The COVID financial aid bill the House is expected to give final approval on today. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says even though the Senate stripped a provision raising the minimum wage, Democrats are united in support of the $1.9 trillion bill, providing, among other things, stimulus checks and extending enhanced unemployment benefits. Fox's Jared Halpern at the Capitol. Not a single Republican in Congress has supported the measure at any point, arguing the spending is far from tailored to the pandemic and instead funds a liberal wish list and a bailout for blue states. Texas has been unmasked. Texas once had a seemingly uncontrolled COVID-19 problem, but now Governor Greg Abbott says today masks are no longer mandated by the state. And businesses can resume normal operations, but only if they want. The Fox's Evan Brown, some businesses and stores will still require people to wear masks. President Biden controversially called lifting mask mandates Neanderthal thinking. Several Republicans-led states have done it. In the push to get more COVID vaccine shots into more arms, Alaska is leading the way. Fox's Tanya J. Powers has this live. Dave, everyone who is 16 years old and up who lives or works in Alaska is now eligible to get a COVID vaccination. Governor Mike Dunleavy's announcement yesterday makes Alaska the first state to do that. He says the Pfizer vaccine is available to those 16 and up, while the Johnson & Johnson and Moderna vaccines can be given to those 18 and up. He says some parts of the state have reached 90% vaccination rates among seniors, Dave. I mean, there's now royal reaction to Prince Harry and his American wife, Meghan Markle, alleging some in the family worried about the skin color of their first child since she's biracial. Texas once had a seemingly uncontrolled... Uh, Benjamin Hall in London was supposed to be telling us that the Queen has uh, reacted to this claim for the first time. America's listening to Fox News. Cleanliness and safety are essential to the success of any business. That's why Cintas has introduced our Total Clean program, a -a one-of-a-kind service that includes scheduled deliveries of essential cleaning supplies, hygienically cleaned uniforms, and on-site sanitizer and disinfectant services to help eliminate germs. Learn what the Cintas Total Clean program can do for you. Oh, I'm ready! Visit Cintas.com and get ready for the workday. Heard the good news about COVID-19 vaccines? They're here. But you can do more than wait for your turn. Here's how. Stay at least six feet away from folks you don't live with. And it's risky to be indoors with them, too. And masks? Well, they protect both the person wearing them and the folks around them. Wear a mask, watch your distance, and make a big difference now. Learn more about vaccines at cdc.gov coronavirus. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Well, now we'll let you hear the reaction from the Queen in the scandal involving Prince Harry and Meghan. The Queen saying in a statement, the issues raised, particularly that of race, are concerning. While some recollections may vary, they are taken seriously and will be addressed by the family privately. The entire palace is reportedly shocked and dismayed by the claims... That's Fox's Benjamin Hall in London. In Minnesota, they'll continue today trying to pick a jury to put a fired police officer on trial in George Floyd's death last year. Three jurors were selected from Tuesday's pool while six people were dismissed. Some saying they weren't sure that they could be impartial. Another worried his family could be targeted. The former Minneapolis officer is charged with second-degree murder and manslaughter in the death of George Floyd. Jury selection is proceeding while the possibility of reinstating a third-degree murder charge remains unresolved. The judge also ruled on several pretrial motions, setting up boundaries for witness testimony, including allowing a firefighter heard on bystander video urging officers to check Floyd's pulse to tell the jury what she saw. Jurors will also be allowed to hear that Chauvin no longer works for the department, but not that he was fired. Steve Rappaport, Fox News. On Wall Street, stock futures are mixed before today's trading. Five more college basketball teams will be in the NCAA tournament winning conference championships, including top-ranked undefeated Gonzaga. Cleveland State, Drexel, Oral Roberts, and Mount St. Mary's also won to get automatic bids. Today, some major college conference tournaments get underway, including the Big East. Last year, St. John's and Creighton were actually battling it out, and at halftime, they decided to cancel the rest of the game and then the rest of the tournament from there. Other conferences followed suit, and then COVID canceled the entire NCAA tournament. This year, COVID has curtailed fan attendance. We're being told that only the lower bowl of the arena will be open, so expect to see a little less than 1,000 people in attendance. Fox's Abby Hornacek outside Madison Square Garden where the Big East Tournament's being played in New York. I'm Dave Anthony. This is Fox News. 
Hello, this is Gary Owen of the Owen Insurance Group. We are a local independent insurance agency located right here on the Treasure Coast. I've been a resident here for 34 years and have helped thousands of clients with their insurance planning needs. We specialize in life, health, and Medicare insurance planning. Don't travel the road alone. Let us be your guide. We are the Owen Insurance Group. Contact us today at 772-210-1020 or visit our website at oweninsurancegroup.net. If someone in my family was diagnosed with skin cancer, I wouldn't care how nice the building looked or what was being said on the radio. I'd look for the best treatment options with the highest cure rates, and I'd find qualified physicians who could provide those treatments. I'm Dr. Tim Ioannidis. At Treasure Coast Dermatology, our board-certified doctors have the training and the experience to care for you and your loved ones. Don't come to Treasure Coast Dermatology based on our image alone. Specializing in the treatment of skin cancer, board-certified dermatologists, Treasure Coast Dermatology. Are you looking for your dream home on the Treasure Coast? I am Eileen Simons, a licensed realtor with EXP Realty. My team and I can help you find your dream home. I bring 20 plus years experience in the residential real estate market, helping both buyers and sellers achieve their dreams. Call me at 772-200-5105 or visit our website at mydreamhomeusa.com. Coming to you live from Stewart, Florida, the greatest little town in the world. It's the award-winning, critically acclaimed Get Up and Go Show on AM 1450 WSTU. You're invited to call the show anytime at 772-220-9788. And now, broadcasting live from their palatial studios, here are your hosts, Evan and Bonnie. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer. It is March the 10th, 2021. And as I mentioned earlier at 6 o'clock when I came back, I've been gone for two days. I had a uh, conversation with my good friend Brian Bazio. He is the uh, chief information officer for the city of Seward Police Department. They put an APB out and they managed to find my voice. My voice has been found and I am back. Time now officially is 8.07. Mr. Clock, would you please certify? It's now 8.07 a.m. There you go. See, we have a clock that talks, uh, G. I on, see on that. The show. I, and I hear that. Yes, we have to certify every time we it's, give the time. Isn't that the same clock from uh, Captain Kangaroo and them? It is. Yeah. It is. I'm expecting Mr. Moose to make an appearance pretty soon. <laughs> no, here. but I can tell you who is making an appearance, and it's the Martin County Administrator, the one and only Taryn Krizda is on our line right now. Taryn, good morning to you. How are you? We are great, and we have a, a, a guest in studio. It's Mr. G that. from our sister hey, station. Hey, Karen. Oh, hey. How are you? Good Very morning. Good, good morning. How are you today, Taryn? I'm fabulous. Couldn't be better. That's Quite a, frankly, it's a Wednesday. It's a hump day and another beautiful day in paradise. You know, it's people cool. up north are so jealous of this weather down here. Uh, we don't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> it's the biggest kept secret. But they all yeah. know about it because everybody is flocking here. That's we right. see it in the news every week, how That's many people right. coming in. Better believe yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when we have weather like this, although it is a little breezy, but aside from that, you know, uh -huh. I mean, it's... Uh, I'm 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 surprised that we're having this cool of weather in the middle of March, but it is what it is. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll definitely yeah. take it's it. It's nice for it. change. Hopefully, the pollen will get blown away, and you know we can just kind of start settling in here for the spring. Oh, that oak pollen has been terrible these last couple of weeks. I've been oh, it's been awful. Feeling it in my sinuses. Yeah, poor Bonnie. She's like, suffering like you have no idea. And tons yeah. of other oh, people. Oh, I do. I have it too. Yeah. <laughs> It's not fun. So, Taryn, yeah. what's been going on in Martin County as of late? Give us an update, if you would, please. Well, we had our meeting yesterday, um, and probably one of the highlights of the meeting yesterday was we, uh, so I made a recommendation to appoint or promote um, one of our internal fire rescue personnel to fire chief, uh, Chad Chinchilli, and uh, he's been with us about 25 years now, and he's worked himself up through the ranks, and the board confirmed him unanimously, and that was a great uh, opportunity for him and uh, his leadership. He's got the largest department here in Martin County with 384 employees. Mm -hmm. um, they don't only have fire rescue, which is, you know, emergency medical and fire response, but 
they have ocean rescue, they have dispatch, they have emergency management, they have um, all these other elements of, uh, they have logistics, we've got a lot of different moving pieces in fire rescue, what we call fire rescue. So uh, Chad will be, Chief Chad will be uh, taking on the helm here, and uh, we are so pleased to have him um, be uh, confirmed into that role. So that was a huge um, shot in the arm for us, if you will, as our leadership team <laughs> continues to move forward. I like that shot in the yeah. arm. No, no pun, pun intended. intended. There. And did you say yeah. 384 employees? Yes. That's yes, a- that department has 384 employees. About 350 of them are your boots on the ground, if you will. That's the uh, fire rescue and emergency management team. Those are the folks that are uh, on shift 24 hours a day, uh, seven days a week. And um, so that's a huge, huge group. But we've got, you know, 12 fire stations. We've got uh, a pretty large network um, given the size of our county. Most people forget that we're not like most other counties given the fact that most other counties have a lot more municipalities or in a lot more incorporated areas. Mm-hmm. And so they tend to have possibly their own uh, resources for those kinds of services like the city of Stewart does. But we serve almost 85% of the county um, with these services. So, you know, we always, I tell people we act kind of like a large city because we provide those municipal services. And and it is a little bit unusual, just like we've got six library branches. And, you know, I mean, um, we're just so large, if you will, in our in our vast, of a county that we uh, have these facilities located in, you know, the south, the west, the east, the north, the middle, you know, everywhere that we we can. So it's really great. And then earlier this week, it just jogged my memory, we had a ribbon cutting for a park, uh, a facility. It's actually a civic center over in Golden Gate, Lamar Howard Park, and uh, we totally renovated that facility and uh, the neighborhood there now has uh, access to computers. Um, They have some really cool technology that they would otherwise not have available to them. And it really, really upgraded that community. So we were really, really proud to be able to roll that out last week and and show the community um, what, what we were able to do. And Evan, I know you usually ask me about where how we are with our um, numbers relative uh-huh. to the to the virus. So yesterday, sure. you know, we had a we had a little bit of a spike, I would say, back early in March. Right. But we seem to have leveled down a little bit. So yesterday we had a total of 16 cases. The day before was 13. Um, and I always look at the hospital availability. So we had about 30 percent capacity in the hospital, um, but of that, of the people that are being hospitalized, 17 are COVID-related. Okay. Um, and we have two in ICU. So you have, you know, when you look at those numbers, we had uh, one person admitted for COVID mm-hmm. and we had three discharged. So I always look at those numbers to see if we're at least netting our numbers or uh, going down from the perspective of how many people we're admitting as opposed to how many people are being um, allowed to be discharged. And so we've been successful in vaccinating uh, over 65% of the those that are eligible. Um, the health department is working with the school district to uh, go to the next tier, if you will, for the school personnel uh, based on the governor's uh, latest directive. Mm-hmm. So uh, they continue to to uh, operate that facility at the mall. I don't know if you've had a chance to look at that, but it is a well-oiled machine. I heard that it's like literally the best of all of the facilities right there at the mall. Yes, yes. I mean, we've had some logistical hiccups, if you will. Um, thank goodness the weather, and I'm not going to what is has held out for us. But aside from some individuals just having some physical uh, impediments, uh, Mm -hmm. you know, being able to get in. But, again, we've got wheelchairs there. We've got staff that can help you. We've got uh, some of our fire rescue personnel that we have assigned there. They've actually volunteered to work there. 
um, to monitor the uh, individuals once they've been vaccinated, and then they also can obviously assist with uh, the logistics of getting someone in and out of their car mm-hmm. or, you know, into the, from the parking lot into the facility. So mm-hmm. I think the, the, the challenge, if there of any, is that just getting on and getting an appointment um, at this point. It's nice to know that you can, like, get in to the mall and out of the mall at that old H.H. Gregg place, though, so fast, and yep. that they have it being so efficient. That's good to know. Yeah, it's it's a huge, uh, you don't, I didn't ever realize how large that uh, area was until I went in there, mm-hmm. um, and it was vacant, and we were setting it up. It used to be a Borders Books in that corner, too, at oh, one yeah, time. Yes, right, yes that, that it was. was. Years ago. Yes, Bonnie. Mm-hmm. It, I miss that store. I miss that as much as I miss H.H. H. H. Gregg being there yeah. in that nice large corner. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. So it's a, it's a good site for us, and... Um, you know, as long as we continue to get the vaccines from the state, mm-hmm. uh, the health department continues to uh, utilize these, we call them strike teams, which uh, these are nurses that have been sent to us by the state, uh, so they're funded by the state, and then they go into uh, specific neighborhoods um, that have been a challenge for us. So they've been looking at Banner Lake, they've been looking at Booker Park, they went into Golden Gate, you know, they're going into those key areas where uh, they they can get access to residents that otherwise don't have the mobility uh, that that others are able to afford. So um, it's been it you know I'm very very proud of the of the way the health department has managed mm-hmm. this, and I hope the people at the higher powers you know in Tallahassee recognize that we've been doing a really great job getting those vaccines out and allocated uh, now, it's been did, phenomenal. Now, did you see the uh, CDC had uh, relaxed their guidelines just a smidge pertaining to people that have received both the shots uh, and uh, congregating and, and social distancing and things like that? I did see that. Mm-hmm. I did see that. And, and um, I think it's going to, again, even, you know, it's going to go down to the local level. So I right. think you're still going to have some places that are still going to feel it's necessary to um, refrain from loosening their uh, their restrictions, if you will. But, you know, here in Martin County, we haven't had any conversations about it. We've always kind of pointed to the CDC guidelines. And so the, the, the issue is you don't know who's been, unless they're going to put some kind of a a marking on your forehead, you know, yeah. how are you going to know? <laughs> That's just it. You don't know who's been inoculated and who has not been inoculated. Right. I mean, it's just so you have, so you're relying on individuals to, uh, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we've got some dynamics here upon us. We've got spring break next week. Right. Um, and then there's other counties, you know, they kind of stagger those spring breaks. So there's other counties that will have their spring break the week after that and the week after that. And college spring breaks are, right. are here. Um, there's a school, Taryn, that is offering students $75 to not go on spring break. Oh, my goodness. I yes. didn't hear that. There's a college. I saw it in the news this morning that's offering a, a $75 payment to the student if they will not go away on spring break and stay in their local area. That's amazing. Yeah, that's that's how safe they want to be. There was that um, nightclub we read about down in Fort Lauderdale, too, where they're only letting people in out of state and if they're over the age of 23. I, oh, wow. I guess to what? cut down on young patrons to wow. like filling up their nightclubs. I didn't hear about that. One. Kind of like a weird sort of legal way, I guess, that they can do it, and you know, anything to wow. um, just disdain the spread of COVID. <clears throat> well, if it's a private, if it's a private facility like that, obviously, yes, they can restrict yeah. it as much as they want. But I don't know how they decided what the age. Yeah. Group was going to be. But I don't know, 23, they just come up with that number. I guess they rolled the dice or something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah anybody, I don't know. Because... Anybody out of town and over 23 can come in wow. <laughs> or out of wow. state. Well, you anybody, know, anybody it... under that age is a college student, so they're they're thinking anybody over 23 is not coming into town because they're uh, not yeah. a college student. That's right. right. Yeah, you're right. You're yeah. right. So That's right, G. I, I knew G was, I was here for a reason. <laughs> 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 I, think, I think if I was a parent that had... Uh, kids that age that I would be, you know, uh, 
stressing to them that they need to just come home. But at the same time, they're just going to congregate with their friends that are home. So, you know, I don't know how you, you, you know, it's, it's hard to restrict socialization for that age group because they're very social people, um, period. You know, they're the ones out, out and about, um, but yet they're the ones that possibly can be, um, have the virus but not showing any symptoms. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, it's just kind of that fine line. And I don't know what the answer is. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's been a challenge uh, for parents, and I get that, and for teachers, I get that too. Um, but at the same time, you know, we're all, we all have to migrate through this, uh, this situation to the best of our ability. Yeah, for sure, definitely. That's Taryn Chris, the Martin County Administrator. She joins us each and every Wednesday at this time on the program to give us an update what's happening, all things Martin County. Taryn, always a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you all. Have a great week. Have a great day. Bye-bye now. It's time for the Precious Metals Report. It's all brought to you by St. Lucie Jewelry and Coin. Gold will be opening up this morning at $1,714.40 an ounce, and silver will be opening up at $25.77 an ounce. That's the Precious Metals Report, and it's all brought to you by St. Lucie Jewelry and Coin. St. Lucie Jewelry and Coin. The first time I stepped into St. Lucie Jewelry and Coins, I figured it would just be one of my many stops on my road to the perfect engagement ring. My fiancé means the world to me, so I wanted something extra special. I found a huge selection of engagement rings at great prices, and my worry about finding the perfect engagement ring was quickly replaced with exceptional customer service. St. Lucie Jewelry's over 400 five-star reviews really told the story. I finally picked a ring, and it was perfect. She was floored. And then the tears came. Hi, this is Hawk Levy, owner of St. Lucie Jewelry and Coins. We're now celebrating 26 years. Voted best diamond dealers, best jewelry buyers, and best jeweler year after year. Come celebrate with us in opening our third location at 1335 St. Lucie West Boulevard next to Publix. We invite you to take a tour of our competition, but then come see us last. Time now is 8.22 on the Get Up and Go Show. It's a blended show this morning. G is joining us down here in beautiful Martin County. Let's go to the news desk where Bonnie has the headlines. Good morning, Bonnie. Good morning, Evan. A Florida high-speed rail line faces a lawsuit from Richard Branson's Virgin Group. Joel Melkin reports. Right line trains have been sidelined for about a year due to the pandemic. With plans to get back on track later this year, trains running from West Palm Beach to Miami and were continuing to expand the service to Orlando. From 2018 until last summer, it was known as Virgin Trains USA, but Brightline pulled out of that marketing partnership. That brought about a hefty suit from Virgin, which is now before a London court. Branson's company is asking for more than $250 million in damages, claiming under the terms of the licensing deal, the rail line was unable to drop the Virgin name until 2023. Virgin wants royalties and an early termination fee. I'm Joel Malkin. An Iowa journalist recounted getting pepper sprayed and arrested while covering a protest for racial justice last year, testifying in her own defense at her widely watched trial on charges stemming from the incident. Des Moines Register reporter Andrea Sahori told jurors she was running away from a scene where riot police had shot tear gas to disperse protesters outside a mall in Des Moines, Iowa. She said that after she ran Rounded the corner of a Verizon store, she saw an officer charging at her and she put her hands up and she said she was press. She said she was grabbed, pepper sprayed, and arrested anyway. On the second day of trial, Sahori told jurors that she thought she was going to go blind after being pepper sprayed, which was extremely painful, the Associated Press reported. Sahori and her former boyfriend are charged with failure to disperse and interference with official acts. Jurors are expected expected to begin deliberation on Wednesday. Ethel Ethel Thelma Waters, affectionately known as the unofficial mayor of Indiantown, died on March 4 of natural causes following long-term health issues in her home surrounded by friends and family. She was 82. Waters leaves behind a legacy that the community she called home for 73 years won't soon forget. Constantly fighting to give Indiantown residents access to basic needs, including literacy, education, voting, affordable housing, health care, poverty reduction, and more. 
Waters, who went by Thelma and was born in Cape Charles, Virginia, on July 23, 1938, and moved to Indiantown in 1947, where she planted her roots. She graduated from Stewart Training School in 1956 and married Leroy Waters in 1957. And lastly, an organic food company called Nature's Path recently discontinued a line of frozen waffles. And a mom in Canada panicked because they're the only thing her nine-year-old autistic son will eat. So the company tracked down all of the remaining boxes that were out there and delivered them to her for free. And they're working on a special at-home recipe for her so when they do finally run out, she can recreate them. Now they can eat and fish for life. Paul Pierce, Chris Bosch, Chris Weber, Michael Cooper, Lauren Jackson, Ben Wallace, and Yolanda Griffith are among the finalists in the 2021 Nesmith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame class, according announced on Tuesday at ESPN's The Jump. Pierce, a first-time nominee, spent 15 of his 19 NBA seasons with the Boston Celtics, winning a championship and finals MVP in 2008. He's a 10-time All-Star and second on the Celtics' career scoring list behind John Havlicek. Our news time is 826. We'll have weather and traffic together coming up. This will be another El Nino year, although a weaker one. So if you incurred roof damage in the last two years, Code Red Roofers is there to help you with all of your roofing needs. Code Red Roofers, the roofers who respond 24-7. And there are flexible payment options for metal, tile, shingle, or flat roofs. Code Red Roofers, say habla espanol. Code Red Roofers, 844-4-CODE-RED. That's 844-4-CODE-RED. Eight twenty-seven. the time right now the get up and go show it's a blended show this morning g is joining us down here in studio it's time for traffic and weather together it's all brought to you by code red roofers bonnie well on the turnpike southbound in hope sound at mile marker 127 there is an accident and with some roadblock too where the right lane is blocked in that area so yeah turnpike southbound here in martin county you're going to see a little bit of traffic back up this morning there and use some caution. There's your latest look at traffic. It's 67 here in Stewart this morning and here's our weather at WPTV. Happy Wednesday sunshines this morning along the Treasure Coast. Breezy winds and cool temperatures. Morning lows in the low to mid 60s under partly cloudy skies. This afternoon, a touch warmer than yesterday, highs in the mid-70s, a mix of sun and clouds, and a slim chance for a stray, fast-moving shower. Tomorrow through Friday, similar weather, highs in the mid to upper 70s, breezy winds, and low rain chances. Over the weekend, highs in the low 80s, plenty of sunshine, and our winds calming down. I'm WPTV First Alert Meteorologist Katya Hall on WSTUAM 1450 Martin County's Heritage Station. Chris Hodgins with my Florida insurance broker, and I'm here today with my daughter, Sage. Hello. Sage, why don't you tell everybody what kind of insurance we do? Home insurance, car insurance, life insurance, and flood insurance. If you've had a rate hike or two or five, hopefully not ten, give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. Sage, what's our number? 772-617-6777. What's the name of our company again? My Florida insurance broker. Are you looking for your dream home on the Treasure Coast? I am Eileen Simons, a licensed Realtor with EXP Realty. My team and I can help you find your dream home. I bring 20 plus years experience in the residential real estate market, helping both buyers and sellers achieve their dreams. Call me at 772-200-5105 or visit our website at mydreamhomeusa.com. 
With any business, the most valuable asset are the people and the teams, no matter how small or large the organization. Hi, I'm Catherine Colhane, Associate Director for the Florida SBDC at Indian River State College. Let us help your organization turbocharge your team. As a certified driving forces analyst, I will help management work more effectively with your people, increase and improve communication, reduce conflict and stress, better understand strengths and weaknesses so that your people are properly aligned in their jobs. Hire the right people. Let the Florida SBDC at IRSC transform your company using a customized assessment system, knowledge, and resources. Grow and accelerate your organization by turbocharging your team. To get started, contact the Florida SBDC at IRSC. For confidential one-on-one business consulting at no cost, contact the Florida SBDC at IRSC at 336-6285. Online at irscbiz.com. Hi, I'm property appraiser Michelle Franklin. Our office is committed to ensuring you receive the property tax exemptions for which you're entitled. To find out more, visit paslc.org. The filing deadline is March 1st. It is our pleasure to serve you, and we look forward to doing so. If you have a suggestion for the show, we would love to hear from you. Send us an email to wstumorningshow at gmail.com. Now let's get back to the Get Up and Go Show. Here's Evan and Bonnie. Time now is 831 on the Get Up and Go Show. And uh, without further ado, here is a gentleman that really needs no introduction because he's outstanding in his own field. It's the one and only Randy Siegel. Randy, good morning and how are you this morning? I'm fine. Good to hear you back. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you can hear me. I have found my voice, and um, it will not get lost again. And now we've got G here with us in our studio. Hey, this Randy. Morning. What's up, man? Hey, Mr. G. What happened, man? You got it, baby. Glad to have you with us in the simulcast. Love it. Hey, Randy. Yeah. Are we going to be able to see a launch again? I think you mentioned on Saturday morning. No. And- how about uh, tonight? Oh, because it did go last night. Tonight it's going to go. Oh, see, Bonnie, we didn't miss it. We thought we missed it. <laughs> no, they, they delayed it. Okay. So there's no excuse for us to miss it tonight. <laughs> That's right. Well, yes, there is, because it's, it's at 3.13 a.m. Oh, but, but, Randy, you gave us a 90% chance of the weather being good or something yesterday, yes. if I recall. Yep, yep, they're still looking good. Weather's looking great for the launch of another uh, batch of 60 satellites mm, going into orbit. 60, yeah. Wow. Yeah, cool. So, again, 3.13 and wasn't there a relaunch or some sort of thing going on Saturday morning, too? It, I could have sworn you said something about Saturday. Well, he yeah. mentioned that if we couldn't see it that day, we could see it on Saturday oh, or something. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They've, been re- they've been shuffling a couple of rockets, and the decision now is the 313 uh, tonight, and then uh, the next one is on hold. Star rockets in flight. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Afternoon delight. <laughs> hey. hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right, Randy. That, uh, we arrived at Mars in 2006 on this date in history. Mm. Oh, yeah, NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter went into orbit around Mars. And it's kind of cool because it's still sending back pictures. Kind of neat. More bang for the buck. But let me tell you about a sad note in history. Alan McDonald has passed away after suffering a fall and brain damage at the age of 83 years old. Well, you're saying, well, who is he? Well, McDonald was director of the booster rocket for Morton Thiokol, which was the primary company that put together the uh, solid rocket boosters. And he said that because it was going to be so cold when Challenger was going to launch 30 years ago, that he wasn't going to sign off on it. So he refused to sign off in order to let them launch. And he was overridden by higher-ups. And as you know, it's been 35 years now since the Challenger disaster. But that's one individual who said, no, I don't think it's the right time to go. Got some problems. But up on the International Space Station, there are no problems of any real sort. Two astronauts, Victor Glover and Mike Hawkins, will be pairing up on Saturday for another spacewalk as they work on the station's cooling system and communications gear. That'll start at about 7.30 a.m. They'll spend the first part of their six-and-a-half-hour spacewalk 
venting and relocating ammonia lines on the far side, left-hand side of the station at the Port 6 truss structure. Glover will also replace a wireless communication antenna on the Unity module, and Hopkins will complete cable connections on the Bartholomew external payload facility, which is located on the European Columbus module. They will also route cameras for HDTV on the International Space Station. Meanwhile, Kate Rubens and Sergei Noguchi reviewed the spacewalk procedures, and Shannon Walker began, began cleaning the spacesuit components for this walk. Not only that, how would you like to have some food up in space that you grow your own food on? Well, Hopkins and Noguchi worked on their gardening tasks. They began harvesting Amara mustard and extra dwarf pak chai plants for the Veggie 3 botany experiment. Noguchi watered the plants using the traditional medicine and food flavoring that they will use during an Asian herb investigation. But two Russians are still looking for that leak, and they still haven't totally found it. They think it'll take a spacewalk to find the leak. However, it has become very minor because they've taken internal steps to stop it, and hopefully they won't have to worry about it. The crew is in no danger, so that's a major factor and a very good factor, to say the least. And we also know that Russia has confirmed that NASA astronaut Mark Vandehe will replace Sergei Korsakov on an upcoming Soyuz MS-18 flight on April the 9th to the International Space Station. The change was carried out for the American side. We wanted to make sure that we had astronauts that will be in space. That seat was owned by the company Axiom. And there was a trade-off. Axiom gave up their seat on the Soyuz, and now they will fly either on the Crew Dragon or the Starliner in 2023 during a rotation flight. We also know that there's been a delay on the launch of the Crew-2 to the International Space Station. They originally were going to go up on the 20th, but they've been delayed two days. And now they'll go up on the 22nd. When they do fly, it'll carry Megan MacArthur, which is Doug Hurley's wife, and he's already been to the station, European astronaut Thomas Pasqua, from the Japanese agency Akihiko Hoshide, and NASA astronaut Shane Kimbra. So crews have been passing their tests in Russia, and as of now, it looks like everything is working out well because nobody has failed their tests, which is always good to know. The Russians also replaced one of their crew members on the backup crew that was going to be flying in April. Russian cosmonaut Dmitry Petlin was removed from his backup position, and NASA astronaut Annie McLean is taking that position. So you can see that that group may go up in a few months to the International Space Station. They have also, in Russia, selected 20 finalists for the main role in a scientific and educational project under the working title of Challenge, which will be partially filmed in space. 3,000 people applied for that position, but they've now narrowed it down to 20. In a very fitting tribute, the area where the Perseverance spacecraft landed on Mars has been named after Octavia E. Butler. She's a black, celebrated science fiction novelist, and that's the new name where the landing site is. So the touchdown is now known as Octavia E. Butler Landing. Tomorrow we're going to tell you about China going to launch their big rocket and Japan getting a big budget lift for space. So until then, have a great day, everybody.
That's Randy Siegel with a space report right here on uh, WSTU and, of course, our sister station, WPSL. Randy's on the program each and every weekday at this time with the latest and greatest of what's happening, all things NASA. Time to head on over to Ellie's downtown Delhi right now where Bonnie is standing by. If you're hungry, Bonnie has got some things to tell you about that will satisfy and soothe your appetite is Mr. G is dancing away in the studio trying to do the limbo. I think G is doing an Irish jig because, you know, he oh, got no. really excited, didn't you, G, when I told you yesterday about the fantastic St. Patrick's Day oh, meal. The, the corned beef and cabbage and all of that mm-hmm. we were talking about. Mm-hmm. The, at least Deli, they know how to do it. That's all oh, there yeah. is to it. They yeah. do. And oh, look, you just oh, made a I rhyme a, there. I'm you a poet. A poet. I didn't know it. Yes. My Longfellow yes. show it. Yes. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> But corned beef and cabbage, they're going to have plenty of that for St. Patty's Day. It's going to be special. And they're going to have this like a three, oh, like a three veggie thing, tri-blend thing going on with celery, carrot, and onion, red potatoes, and soda bread. Mm. So a nice, huge meal. Soda bread? Soda bread? What's that? Soda bread, it's like a... Dipped in soda. Yeah. (laughs) 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 It's kind of like a... It's kind of like a sour bread. Tastes sort of like sour bread, only okay. it is soda bread. Alrighty like, um, then. Hey, gee, they make this thing called Google. <laughs> Google uh, yeah, it. I, I, I will. <laughs> what is soda bread? Mm-hmm. But your price is only twelve ninety five. dollars Let me ask Jeeves. Hang on here. Ask G- oh, you use Jeeves. <laughs> is okay. Jeeves still around? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the spirit where we Google things nowadays, yeah, Jeeves. We Google it. it. I yeah, Google, Google everything. It. That's it. But you can like it cookies the size of your head, like really. Oh, bigger don't than you your say head. Don't you say it, oh, Bonnie. That's right. Don't you say it. She did. He's not here to pray. Ray not. is not here. No. Oh, by the way, that's why I'm here. Ray's not feeling good. Yeah. yeah. He, he was uh, feeling uh, really weird when I got the to weather this morning. Yeah. 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 And we hope that Ray does get yes. better, certainly. For Soda sure. bread is a variety of quick bread traditionally made in a variety of cuisines in which sodium bicarbonate is used as the leavening agent mm-hmm. instead of the traditional yeast. Mm-hmm. Uh, the ingredients of traditional soda bread are flour, baking soda, salt, and buttermilk. Oh, oh. I should have known that there was baking soda in okay. it. Mm. Um, that's like that's a soda. the soda they're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Because not not the ginger ale. <laughs> okay. Not the seven not up or A&W. the squirt or no, none of that. No, mess. okay. Ellie's Downtown Deli and Stewart now has their patio back open. Plus, they're at fifty percent dining inside. They have a full menu for pickup or delivery. Ellie's also has full dinners available for takeout. Plus, their fabulous desserts as well. Call seven seven two seven eight one six six zero five to order and pick up today. They're located at eighteen Southeast Sixth Street. Just off Colorado in Stewart, call 772-781-6605. Ellie's Downtown Deli in Stewart. 842 right now on a blended show this morning. G is joining us from our sister station. It's time for news all brought to you by St. Lucie Jewelry and Coin. For the best deals in town, head on over to St. Lucie Jewelry and Coin. Make sure and uh, ask for Hawk Levy. Here's Bonnie with the headlines. Good morning, Bonnie. Good morning, Evan. The newest high school set to open this fall held an information session for prospective families on Tuesday night. WPTV's Derek Lowe has the details. This is our opportunity to start her on fresh foundation, fresh new ground, being a part of history, change. Scheduled to open to 600 students this fall. It's so exciting to just watch the the building get built behind us and to see the excitement on all these kids' faces as they come through. Tradition Prep High School in Port St. Lucie will be unique in that students will help set the tone for their education. Our kids are so smart and if we give them the opportunity to be innovative and to create, they can they know that they have great ideas. The tuition free charter school will use an educational model they refer to as WISH. It stands for Wellness, Innovation, Science, and Health. We're going to build out our Health Science Academy, then our Computer Science Academy, um, and then probably engineering after that. The hope is to expose students to opportunities at facilities like the Cleveland Clinic. I think it's important that we, we put that into our curriculum. And to produce a workforce that can supply the growing demand. We do have a set standard curriculum with testing and things like that, but we're not teaching our kids the problem skills, the life skills. Partnering with different medical facilities in the community so our students have opportunities to do internships and and, um, really kind of get exposed to different career opportunities. In Port St. Lucie, I'm Derek Lowe, WPTV. 
News Channel 5. Governor Ron DeSantis checked out a CVS pharmacy in Lehigh Acres in southwest Florida yesterday as he touted his success in putting seniors 65 plus to the front of the vaccine line. He says the number of seniors getting the virus is going down by the day. If you go back two months and saw what percentage of cases on a given day were seniors in Florida, it was I think about 18 percent. Now it's typically uh, less than that. It's typically 12, 13, 14 percent. Those 60 plus can begin getting the vaccine on Monday. The Cube Smart off US 1 at Palm City Road in Stewart, a three story self storage facility described by some as a concrete monstrosity, is no longer a plain gray slab towering over the road. Now it boasts jaunty red awnings, Cube Smart branding, faux windows, and more all of which make it look like a self-storage facility in formal wear. Many local residents thought the project was a poor fit. It actually might be an example of smart growth. It's right off a major artery where a facility of that size should be. The project included improvements to some nearby roads, which should benefit the neighborhood immediately adjacent to it. Roger Mudd, the longtime CBS News correspondent and anchor who later teamly teamed briefly with Tom Brokaw on NBC Nightly News has died. He was 93. Mudd died Tuesday of kidney failure at his home in McLean, Virginia, according to CBS News. And lastly, former First Lady Michelle Obama and soccer star Mia Hamm have been chosen for the National Women's Hall of Fame as part of a class of 2021 announced Monday that also includes former Pepsi Company Chief Executive Indra Nuya and retired Brigade General Rebecca Halstead. Halstead commanded in combat as the first female commanding general at the strategic level in Iraq. NASA mathematician Katherine Johnson, who died last year, will also be inducted during an October 2 ceremony along with the late author Octavia Butler, Native American artist Joy Harjo, abolitionist Emily Howland, and artist Judy Chicago. The Miami Heat said on Tuesday night that center Myers Leonard will be away from the team indefinitely, sharply criticizing his use of an anti-Semitic slur while playing a video game that was being live-streamed. Leonard acknowledged that he used the term on Monday and said he did not know what it meant at that time. An NBA spokesman said the league unequivocally condemns all forms of hate speech. News time is 8.47. We'll have weather and traffic together next. The first time I stepped into St. Lucie Jewelry and Coins, I figured it would just be one of my many stops on my road to the perfect engagement ring. My fiancé means the world to me, so I wanted something extra special. I found a huge selection of engagement rings at great prices, and my worry about finding the perfect engagement ring was quickly replaced with exceptional customer service. St. Lucie Jewelry's over 400 five-star reviews really told the story. I finally picked a ring, and it was perfect. She was floored, and then the tears came. Hi. This is Hawk Levy, owner of St. Lucie Jewelry and Coins. We're now celebrating 26 years. Voted best diamond dealers, best jewelry buyers, and best jeweler year after year. Come celebrate with us in opening our third location at 1335 St. Lucie West Boulevard next to Publix. We invite you to take a tour of our competition, but then come see us last. <laughs> the time right now on the Get Up and Go show. It's time for traffic and weather together. It's all brought to you by Waterway Dermatology. Dr. Ryan Schering located at 1050 Monterey Road in Stewart, bringing personalized health care back to dermatology, the waterway. Bonnie? We do have that accident in Hope Sound. It's on the Turnpike southbound at mile marker 124. The right lane is blocked in that area. People have been seeing some slowdown heading southbound bound on the turnpike and there's your latest look at traffic palm city a nice clear sky in 68 and in white plains new york this morning 41 with sunshine here's our forecast at wptv 
Happy Wednesday, sunshines! This morning along the Treasure Coast, breezy winds and cool temperatures. Morning lows in the low to mid 60s under partly cloudy skies. This afternoon, a touch warmer than yesterday. Highs in the mid 70s, a mix of sun and clouds, and a slim chance for a stray, fast-moving shower. Tomorrow through Friday, similar weather. Highs in the mid to upper 70s, breezy winds and low rain chances. Over the weekend, highs in the low 80s, plenty of sunshine and our winds calming down. I'm WPTV First Alert Meteorologist Katya Hall on WSTUAM 1450 Martin County's Heritage Station. Dermatology is now open in Stewart, a new independently owned dermatology practice with Dr. Ryan Shuring, board certified for your medical or cosmetic skin care needs. Office hours 9 to 5 Monday through Saturday with extended hours from 9 to 7 on Thursdays. Serving Martin and St. Lucie counties in the Monterey Triangle Building, US 1 and Monterey Road, Stewart Waterway Dermatology, bringing personalized health care back to dermatology the waterway. Book a consultation at waterwayderm.com or call 561-926-6150 for Waterway Dermatology. Taking your business to the next level requires money, and the Florida SBDC at Any River State College has the expertise and connections to help you acquire your growth capital. Hi, I'm Michael Bernard, business consultant with the Florida SBDC at IRSC. We offer no-cost consulting and low-cost training to help you prepare and obtain financing. Whether you're looking for a traditional bank loan, government-backed loan, or a loan provided by an alternative lender, we have the tools, expertise, and resources to help you obtain the financing needed to succeed. While Florida SBDCs do not loan money or administer grants, our consultants maintain valuable relationships with local lenders and understand their lending requirements. Our certified business consultants, many of whom are former bankers and business owners, will provide confidential assistance to help guide you through the process of securing the right source of capital for your business. For one-on-one business consulting at no cost, contact the Florida SBDC at IRSC at 336-6285, online at irscbiz.com. Today's to-do list, stop and get coffee, go to work, swing by the grocery store, eat dinner, go to sleep, get up, do it all over again. Seacoast believes spending time with your loved ones should be on your everyday to-do list. Seacoast Air Conditioning, family owned and operated for over 38 years, knows the importance of family. Whether it's reading a bedtime story, sharing your day around the dinner table, or just picking up the phone and calling mom. These are the moments that are remembered for a lifetime. Comfort crisis, don't roast, call Seacoast. Here's a quick tip if you're ever stumped for a business you can trust. The Martin County Business Exchange has more than 70 companies you can count on for good service and fair prices. Whether it's for you, your house, or your office, get online at mcbiz.us. You'll find local businesses you can count on for quality, service, and fair prices. Visit mcbiz.us. Martin County Business Exchange. It's just good business. You're listening to the Get Up and Go Show with Evan and Bonnie on Martin County's Heritage Station, AM 1450 WSTU. Now let's get back to the program with Evan and Bonnie. My teenager came down yesterday and said her mom can't part her hair this way. She said the side party's old for sure. Sometimes I wish I could turn back time when wearing skinny jeans was fine, but now <laughs> she's getting told that she's old, baby. Quit throwing shade on her part. <laughs> That's the Holderness family that does all those parody songs. And our phones are blinking like crazy here. How many pairs of uh, skinny jeans do you own, Ray, uh, Evan? I own actually four, believe it or not. You've got skinny jeans? Yes, I do. I rock skinny jeans. I hear 60. you, brother. Go yes, on, baby. Dude. You better believe it. <laughs> are they skinny jeans? And or I, are I, they... I rock the jeans that have the holes cut out in them, oh, too. I know, man. you got to rock those. Yes, you got to yes. have that. Oh, mine have the holes oh, in the knees. Lovely, Bonnie. Yeah. Let lovely. me show our Facebook that's watchers. Right. Let them, let them see it, yeah, man. let's see. Yeah, oh, you got holes. Oh, yeah. That's oh, yeah. They're holy. They cost more money when they have holes in them. I have scissors. I can do that for you. I hear you. I hey, uh, this way. <laughs> hi, you're on the air. Good morning. 
Well, good morning, Bonnie and Evan, and I see you got Big G here with you. <laughs> Big G. <laughs> yeah, you were supposed to call me back yesterday. No, that was Fredo. This oh. is the old man down the road. Oh, we talked to the old man down the road. Yes. yes. That's Chucker's yes. friend. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm, sitting, I'm, I'm sitting here with, uh, with Edna. And I'm sitting here with George. We're in here in Kentucky watching you guys on Facebook. Oh, okay. Oh, very All cool. right. Very nice. Uh, very nice. Uh, so, uh, go ahead, Evan. No, no, go I'm ahead. The floor's, all, the floor's all your, the floor's all yours okay. old man. Go ahead. Well, well, Edna was mopping the floor with me anyway, so. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she got a big switch outside and told me I better do something. Uh-oh. Oh, he knows. Oh. See, wait a minute now. Now, the old man down the road knows about that switch. See, Evan had oh, never heard yeah. of a switch. Oh, wow. you, you had to go out and get your own now, switch. See, that's what I'm talking own. about. I wow. had never heard of a switch either. Yeah. I've never heard of it until now. You guys wow. were sheltered. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, so we're we're sitting here. You all put smiles on your face. We're watching you right now on the, on Facebook, you know. And I got a friend of uh, you, uh, you and Evan there, uh, who's sitting with us. He came all the way from an international place. Do you want to take a wild guess there, Mister G? Who that could be? I'm thinking it's going to be Skating George, the no. the, the Russian soul man. No. Yeah. 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 The Russian soul man is it. <laughs> there you go. The Russian wow. soul man. We go way back. Wow. All right. Well, let's, listen, we have other lines ringing, so we have to answer our other phone lines, uh, uh, old man. So we're going to let you go, and, and thank you so much for checking in with us, and you have a wonderful day. Say good night, old man. Good, good night, old man. All right. Very good. Hi. <laughs> right, good morning. You're on the air with Evan and Bonnie and G. Who's this? Yeah, man. Oh, there's Fredo. Okay. Oh, there's but now Fredo. I all I all I I wanted you to call me back because I was going on the air with the the space case with the Randy Siegel. Oh, you just called Randy Siegel a space case. I call him space case all the time. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. It's okay. not like he don't it's, know it's that. It's used endearingly. Yeah, okay. it is. All right, just want to make sure. But, but Fredo, you said you called back and we didn't answer. That is correct. Oh, okay, yeah, I don't man. know. I don't know what happened, but okay. uh, apologies. Fredo's an entrepreneur, G. I understand. Yeah, G. Yeah, G. I want to invite you to come out to my mobile rib. I'll be out there on Canada Highway today. I give you a good foot massage. You can have some good barbecue while you get your foot massage. Barbecue and a massage. At foot the same massage. Place. A foot massage. Get that foot something. Massage. Yeah. Get the heck out of here. <laughs> yeah. 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 Man, he's got a mobile rub. But Ray told me when he came over to get his foot massage, you got a lot of corns on your feet. <laughs> <laughs> you <know? laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Oh, back, Lord. Okay, gee, I haven't seen you since you and I did that Rick James video back in 1984. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah where, where did we record that? At the Hollywood Sportatorium? Uh, that's yeah, it. man. Yep, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> now, Evan, Evan, I don't want to tell you what she did with some audience member, but it was cool. Yeah, <laughs> it really was. Yeah. Uh-huh. That, uh, that part of my life is over, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I still live that life. Yeah, man. Hey, uh, Fredo, have you been up to uh, Blind Creek Beach as of late? Just want to check in on that. Oh, yeah. I do the whole self-tanning thing there. Yeah, man. I go there and I rub the ladies down on Blind Creek Beach. Yeah, man. Get all suntanned and everything else with the lotion. Oh, hubba hubba. Yeah, man. <laughs> now, do you get your lotion product and your foot scrub from Bath & Body Works? I'm sure. <laughs> That's about it works. Yeah. No, he and uses I got Amazon. Stuff than that. I make some homemade stuff that's real good. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, They'll Lord. make you real tingly. Yeah, man. Oh, <laughs> tingly. <laughs> well, that means it's working. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh Lord. All right. So you're you're headed. You're going to be on Canner Highway with the uh, the barbecue and the mobile rub, right? Yeah, and I also got the fish fry now. Oh, yeah, the I fish mean, fry. Yeah. Fredo's fish fry. Okay. Yeah, Fredo's fish fry, and you can do that. And I do have cheese picture up on the Hall of Fame and the uh, mobile rub there. Yeah, okay. man. <laughs> All right, we 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 got. I can hum your favorite song while massaging your feet too. Okay. Yeah, All, All right. right, we got we got to run, Fredo. We'll talk to you soon. All right, that's Fredo, our band leader. Well, that's a wrap for the uh, the uh, the get up and go show this morning. Okay, show's over. Mm, gotta run. So this is goodbye then. I think we should meet again. See you soon. I don't need the details. Bye. All right, fine. We'll give you no details, but we thank you so much for joining us. G, always a pleasure to see you. Pleasure's all mine, guys. Pleasure thank you. was all yours Thanks as well. Thanks for coming. So much fun. Yeah, we really yes. appreciate it. Uh, remember, if you have good values on the inside, you won't look for validation on the outside. And something I haven't done in a long time, and I'm only going to do it because G is here. Here I'll we go. say, Chow Mein. 
Arriba Hon- Dirty. Oh, wait, oh, Honduras. I do that dirty. every time. <laughs> <laughs> We're WSCU Stewart. Bonnie, have a great day. Have a nice fine day, have fella. Have a great day. We're WSCU Stewart, Martin County's Heritage Station. We're WPSL Port St. Lucie, the talk of the Treasure Coast. We'll see everybody back here tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.